Okay, good morning all. So welcome to PSAR course 2024. Okay. Um, see, this is today's uh, agenda. Okay. So, so we will discuss whether this PSAR subject is a right subject for whom this will be better. So that part we will discuss. And then we will discuss what are the highlights, the special about the subject. And then we will discuss about uh, the subject. Okay. So what are the content we have in that PSAR? So that part we will we will have a discussion. And then what will be the class course content? Okay. In the class, what all we are going to do in the next uh, uh, five, six months? So that part we will discuss. And then how to prepare for PSAR, GS, etc. What to do? So you people are for uh, September 2025 exam, mains examination. Okay, mains examination is important actually. So for that, what we have to do? So that part we will handle. And finally, we'll take some questions. Okay, and then the second part of the session, one topper is going to join with us. So he's from Maharashtra, Mr. Samir Kod. Um, uh, so he's a 42nd rank, PSAR student. Last year, uh, he was in our test batch. And I think that he's the second... Uh, Topper in GS also, second highest mark all over India in, in, with respect to GS. So above him, the rank one only is there. Okay, so we will try, we will interact with him. So he will discuss something and then you can also ask questions directly to him. So this is today's agenda. Okay. And then uh, coming to the first question, is PSAR a right, right subject for UPSC men's? See, for for uh, uh, what type of uh, qualities it is required for us to prepare for PSAR and to get the good marks in PSAR, that is the optional subject, so that we have to. So first, somebody tell me, what is mean by politics? What do you, what, what do you mean by politics first? Oh, yes? Uh, forming the government to govern the nation. Okay, it's a part of that. Okay, I am asking what is politics? You are a political science student. Okay, so what is what do you mean by politics? What is politics? Yes? People? People's representatives. Okay, so it's, it's all a part of that. Uh, a study of political institutions, the structures, okay, the structures, their functions, etc. Okay, then so this is a class for 2024 students. Okay, 2024. Um, I mean, political science student. Okay, again, ah, yes, okay, studying the uh, political institutions, how they function, what is their structure. So, that is political science. Okay, then. Uh, yes ideology it is all about ideologies okay then so ideology means set of ideas coherent ideas which has to be followed where which people believe okay and then we have to move forward with that particular ideas okay ideology so actually um uh, many people what they will do is what is called politics means uh, they will think that politics means it is creating problems so in our family function and all, sometimes what will what they will do is so we will be discussing with our family members. So we are going to have a family function. So this uncle will come and he will do politics. This auntie will do politics. Like that we say, no, uh, in village and all, these people will do politics. These people are doing politics. If they are talking about any issue, man, these people, these politicians are doing politics. So like that we we, uh, we, we frequently we say use this word politics. Politics means uh, uh, we think that it is creating the problem. Actually, it is not creating the problem. It is solving the problem. That is called politics. In society are there, we people are social animals. We have to live together. And then if you are living together, means everybody doesn't have a common interest. We have common interest, but we don't have same interest. Everybody have individual interest also, along with the common interest. So I may think a particular thing in a, in a one, one, one possible way. Other people will think in another possible way. So conflict of interest will be there. How to solve the problem in the society and live together and how to move the society forward. For that, we need a tactics to handle this kind of issues. So that only we call it as politics. Politics is all about solving the problem, solving the problem. 
and sometimes creating the problem also is a part of solving the problem sometimes you have to note that see uh, uh, so the people are deprived of a particular uh, thing the government is not addressing that issue what we have to do we have to do politics we have to go and block the road why people are doing that the demonstration etc okay and people in a public platform they will raise certain uh, political questions they are doing politics actually they are creating problem why if you are not raising the problem creating the problem means how the problem will be addressed okay so it's all about solving the problem so that is very important it is all about solving the problem that is called politics political science means the art of doing that so what all the things uh, the structures functions uh, how to do it governance representation elections uh, uh, what all the issues we are having how to uh, what are the different approaches to solve the problem so that is the entire syllabus okay okay and then for whom this subject will be very good men see uh, actually uh, for clearing the ups examination all together i am telling whichever subject you are taking gs plus any option you should, you need certain skills you need certain skills a particular student need a certain skills to clear the examination so one is um the understanding part understanding the issues understanding the concept understanding the thinking ideology what what they are telling so understanding that and then what they will do is people have to questions will be explanatory descriptive questions will be there okay so you'll be writing so this is uh, they will ask what is this discuss this explain this that means you have to just explain that understand the concept and then replicate that in the paper with the application so this is one type second type you have to note that the analytical part is there analytical part means understand that particular thing and apply that something in in certain areas we have to apply that particular thing uh, and you have to find out how this will work how to improve this like that they will be asking opinion based common based prescription based questions okay so for type 1 type 1 you have to note that you have you should have a very good understanding capacity and after understanding the capacity put that particular idea in a simple manner clear manner like like that one quality is required the second type after understanding it you have to evaluate yourself and then give your opinion analytical type so two qualities are generally required for all the gs papers whatever uh, option you are taking you should have both this you you should have this two qualities okay understanding replicating the idea in a simple manner another one is understanding the issue and then evaluating it and then giving your opinion commenting on that okay so like the two qualities are very very important for clearing upsc examination certain subjects will be there static subjects the static part all you need is understand that and then replicate the particular idea replicate the idea this is number one certain subjects are there completely it will be analytical okay you have to present the after understanding it you have to give the opinion evaluation etc so this is the second part um um i i don't want to mention any other subject but in our subject you have to note that you need both the qualities that means we have static part of the subject is also there as well as dynamic part of the subject is also there the two subjects are there okay so uh, so you have to know the static part means what uh, the thinkers said what are, what is this particular concept that part is also that you have to understand that and then you should be able to replicate it at the same time second part you have to uh, understand that particular topic and then evaluate it and then present it give prescription so that part is also there okay so if you are if, so sometimes some people will have uh, certain qualities they can reproduce what is there in the book after understanding it or or uh, they can simply do it means uh this subject is uh, is maybe little tough for them tough means in the sense i am not telling tough that is not enough the first quality also is required the second quality is also very important you have to develop the second quality the prescri giving prescription after after understanding something you have to give a prescription uh, so this is what we can do this is this is how we can improve like that so that part also is equally important so both the qualities are required for the subject if you can handle political sentiments you will clear the examination that's all very simple this is the simple thing i can tell you okay so for everything the understanding the idea is very important if you can understand means then you can apply it everywhere you can evaluate that so first understanding part is important okay the descriptive part is important so static part we have to concentrate more and uh, and put the base after that the descriptive part the dynamic part is very easy 
so directly you can't go to the dynamic but certain people will have a quality that they can write uh, any if you give any topic means they will speak uh, about that particular topic for 15 minutes to 30 minutes like that, without knowing much about the topic like that certain people may have a quality certain people will be there only when they prepare they can produce they can speak something both the qualities are required okay so other subjects you have to note that maybe only one part may be required some other subject second part is required so our subject contains both the both the things you need both the qualities okay so basically you have to understand things okay so so if you want to that means if i have to teach psa or mains it, it will take not more than 15 days to cover the entire syllabus actually because the content is very small but if you keep on evaluating it examining it and then you are doing it mains we can do it for years so like that the subject is there so the thing is uh the fundamental fundamental is important understanding the things that is very easy okay so carefully you have to uh, read it and then you have to understand what they are coming to say why they are saying this if you can do that means the second part is very easy you can easily apply it okay evaluate it examining it and then give prescription that part is very easy okay so anyway so the, the qualities which are required for psar is also the quality which is required for clearing the entire examination okay so this is number one and second the subject highlights see the best part is our subject you have to note that is the most gs friendly subject you don't have any other subject uh, that much uh, helpful for gs gs means gs mains particularly only when you prepare for gs mains you will understand the uh, the greatness of our subject okay so literally uh, we have some 40 chapter 40 41 chapters are there in the, in the entire paper 1 and paper 2 so in that literally 15 chapters only you will read it for political science sake alone remaining literally 25 chapters so overlaps with gs so this is the best part in our subject so what we have to do is the 15 uh, chapters i said no so that is the core concept so we have to spend extra time slowly do it understand it remaining 25 chapters will be very easy actually and whether you like it or not even you take some other subject you are taking any other literature or any other say even chinese literature you have to read the other 25 chapters for your gs you have no other choice 15 chapters only is psar only uh, political science only so remaining 25 chapters you have to note that will be uh, will be uh, for um, gs also so gs also you have to prepare so the preparation method is same only understanding the thing is same only what is the issue means what is the basic understanding you should you need that is same for both gs and psar depending upon the question you have to answer that's all very simple okay so one third of the subject only actually we will be reading new remaining two third of subject even you are not uh, going to take psar those students also have to read so our gs the preparation time for gs will completely cut down for us we can simplify it effectively if you can if you can manage the that means subject and the preparation means so gs also literally i am telling uh, at least 40 percentage of the time uh, will be saved for you if you are if you are taking some other subject means it is taking 100 hours means if you are taking psar means 50 50 60 percentage only time only it will consume okay so this is the best part in that i will i will show you what all the areas which is overlapping with the gs subject so it is not uh, in shared admins uh, uh, this is th this white patch you have to note that these chapters are psar only subject this is paper 1 section a okay the political theory part so we have 10 chapters or the 10 chapters or the 1 to 10 so in that first two chapters you have to note that that is pure political science only okay even you can write it in the left side in the margin in that syllabus okay so first two uh, uh, chapters are political science only so next to four chapters you have to note that this is also political science only but if you can understand this topics man this will be very much helpful for our ethics ethics basis the basic things uh, what we read in uh, uh, in uh, psar i'm telling the basic concept if you can understand what is called justice what is called equality what is called rights what is called democracy if you can understand this man you can write better things because we will be reading this very detailly here the different different approaches different different thinkers okay so we will have a better understanding than all other subject students so we can take edge over other students in ethics 
okay see the 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 normal formula for clearing the examination is in mains you have to be very good in option essay and ethics uh, and with respect to gs paper you have three gs paper 1 2 3 is there you have to take the top most minimum average top most minimum not a minimum average top most minimum average the average you got it means you are safe that means we are safe so you wanted to be a top or means you have to do better so i am not i am not talking about that so to be safe to be in the list i am telling in a gs all three papers top was minimum in these three papers that is option essay ethics we have to top the chart we have to do you have to do you present i mean you have to uh, outsmart others like that you have to you can take better marks means we will be in the list final list interview call will come so for that ethics is a very core paper so understanding what, what is called justice means other people will not know other subjects people will never know what is called justice because people think that justice means in the class we will be discussing it a very big uh, explanation very big discussion is required today if i ask what is called justice means everybody will tell one particular idea this is called justice like there hundreds of ideas are there in justice easily we can understand okay if you can reason with that means easily we can understand what are the different perspectives what is justice for the rich people what is justice for the poor people what is justice for the middle class people what is justice for the a down trodden community okay so so in indian context itself four four angles we can discuss and rich people also have different different uh, uh, and that means approach okay so based on the principles based on the uh, that means uh, uh, the uh, the ideology they are following different different perspectives of justice or that okay so 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 we will have a very deep understanding about what is called justice what is called equality what is called equality means what do you will say what is what do you mean by equality can you, somebody tell me what is called, what do you mean by equality what equality according to you that like that only we can say there is no one way of telling what is called equality what is called justice according to me what is called justice means what i will do is in the society what i am deprived of like that in that from the point of view only i will speak suppose i am from a down trodden community means social justice is very important if i am a i am a lawyer if i am a lawyer means legal justice is important so you can understand so like that uh, if if i am a business means equal opportunity is important if i am a communist government i will say equal outcome is important so that is called just like the different different justice are there depending upon the society depending upon the type of problem they are facing the idea of justice is different okay so we will have a deeper understanding about this particular uh, concepts so what we will do is we can take an edge over other people uh, with respect to ethics okay and then fifth chapter the power hegemony this is a pure political science subject and eighth chapter uh, political ideology this is uh, this is for preliminary as well as mains also it will cover gs1 paper gs1 paper you have the ideology one separate chapter is there in mains gs1 prelims also sometimes one or two questions will come regarding marx is regarding liberalism they may ask something okay and then last two chapters are very important indian political thought western political thought actually this is the main political science paper so we have two two papers are there each paper have section a section b this is section a and this is paper uh, paper 1 uh, section b so like this paper it also section a section b is there so in that you have to note that our entire weightage we have that means the uh, that means for example i am going to study for 100 hours to clear psir i need 100 hours means how the weightage in terms of time it will take means literally 30 to 40 percentage of the time 40 hours i have to spend it on paper one section in the 10 chapters or literally 50 percentage also we can take no no uh, that means Uh, then all, that means that much uh, time it will take the second part is there no the section b it is completely gs only it will take only 15 percentage of my time okay and then paper 2 section a also some five chapters are there it will consume some 25 percentage of my time so 50 25 15 remaining 10 percentage for the paper 2 section b okay so so uh, so in paper 1 section a you have to note that these four chapters will be coinciding with the uh, ethics preparation chapter number 8 it will be useful for preliminary as well as for gs1 and 9 and 10 purely political science so 1 2 3 4 5 five chapters we have to read for political science sake alone 
but this will consume 50 percentage of your time so that is uh, that you have to understand okay to complete the first 10 chapters literally half of the our classes will be over it will it will consume half of our total program slow and steadily only we have to go okay mark wise here, all four sections are equal only okay so but to understand the subject to put the foundation we have to give more importance to 50 percentage of importance to this uh, psar only topics okay so uh, the, the class and as well as the discussion reading will be actually people will enjoy actually you have to enjoy then only the subject will be very very easy okay and then paper one section b we have 11 chapters so this you have to note that we, uh, the green patches are gs1 paper blue the yellow patch means it will be uh, coinciding with gs2 paper means in uh, in uh, uh, in mains examination okay so entire 11 chapters you have to note that is completely gs paper only anyhow people have to prepare only okay so indian nationalism means gs1 modern india and then next is next come the polity part Polity departments don't think that we will be simply following the Lakshmi Kanta book. The Lakshmi Kanta you polity you might have uh, the classes are going no not like that. That is the base. The application part only we will discuss. Can understand? Okay. So the detailed the fundamental of this polity and all you have to complete it uh, while preparing for preliminary itself. If you can understand what all the uh, how a governor is elected, what are the provisions, what are his powers, what are his limitations means. How this is working in the society in India, that part we have to handle. Tamil Nadu government is having problem with the Tamil Nadu governor. The non-BJP government, the central government, non-BJP um, government ruling states are there, no? There and all the governor and the state government are having a clash. How you are seeing this? So like that only we have to discuss. So that part is very easy. That part is very easy if you are very good in Lakshmi Kant. Lakshmi Kant, you have to be very good. Sometimes directly also they may ask, what are the provisions? Very rarely. But they may ask. The basic things, we have to be uh, good men. Remaining things, and all, you know, two or three days we can complete. This uh, this uh, 10 chapters. It will take, if you are in examination mode, men, okay, one week, maximum one week. Maximum one week only will take to prepare this 11 chapters. This year I am going to write men. In one week I will handle this. I can handle this. Like that only subject. Provided for preliminary, I am very good in uh, Lakshmi Kant. Lakshmi Kant, that, that thing they won't ask, but the application of that. How the gov what are the governor's power? What are what is his role and his envisaged role and actual working? Like that only our syllabus will be there. What is his duty, but what he is doing now? How you see this? So, like that, we will be ready. So, for, for handling all these things, you should have a very good newspaper reading habit. That is very crucial. For clearing the examination itself, newspaper reading is very important. Otherwise, you can't clear, I will tell you openly. For PSR also, many things we can handle from the so uh, two days before the uh, speaker election was there, deputy speaker election was there. So during that time, you have to note that uh, you have you should, immediately you have to know all the uh, powers, duties, and responsibilities of the deputy speaker, and how things were working in India into after the 2024 election, like that, if, uh, and how it was there in the last two regimes. No deputy speaker was there. What is the implication of that? Why we need a deputy speaker? Uh, why we need an opposition party? So like the Randall, like the Randall, we have to think well, in the newspaper stuff only. Easily we can handle it. Okay. And then paper two, first part, we have the international relation theories or comparative politics and international relation theories. So in that first three chapters are PSAR only. The comparative politics, state in comparative politics. The first two chapters here and paper one, first two chapters in section A will coincide. Same thing only. Nothing new. So there you will be doing it for one country. The here we have to compare. Compare means actual comparison we will not do. What they will ask is, this is completely a theoretical part. They will ask how you will compare uh, um, uh, the judiciary of two countries. How you will do it? How you, are going to, how you are going to read the judiciary of a particular country like that you have to read it for two countries. That's all. And compare it. So they won't ask you to compare India-China judiciary, India-US judiciary. They won't ask you that. But what is the approach? Approach is same thing, same thing only. How judiciary is working in India, that you can do it, man. Similarly, go on, go to US and then find out how judiciary is working in US. Same approach only. And then after finding the data, just to compare. Okay, so, so you won't be reading anything much new. Okay, the comparative politics and state in comparative politics. So here, 
the political theory theories of state same thing only same same ideas okay it's just some additions that's all okay basically same thing only it will be, it, uh, uh, we will repeat and then politics of representation and participation how political parties are working pressure groups are working how people's participation are there elections are conducted like that questions will come so with a basic uh, knowledge common sense we can handle this and then fourth chapter is gs3 this is international economy chapter economics is there in gs3 so this is international economy how globalization is affecting the de developing countries developed countries whether india got any kind of benefit like that you have to approach this under general see if i give the question now means now itself we can write it but to write better we have to discuss that is a different one okay and then fifth and sixth chapter is the core of this paper to section a approaches to the study of international relation so this will take nearly half of the time you are going to spend it for paper two. okay these two chapters so for paper two how much time you are allocating i said 25 25 percentage of my time literally 15 percentage of the time i will be spending in fifth and sixth chapter it will take time okay two core chapters only mainly okay and then the uh, changing international political order means this is world politics contemporary world politics cold war um uh, and then uh, after the cold war what happened so those thing american hegemony how america russia is doing today this and all common topics only what we will discuss in the tea shop like that we can write it so you can understand the general thing why america is big, bigger or russia is bigger now china is also coming when india will come up uh, who will dominate the world like that generally we will discuss no like that topics will be there but with some structured preparation we can write answers better these contents are already known to you like that only i can take it i have to take it okay and then uh, next chapter is evolution of international economic system again it is in gs2 gs3 uh, bilateral also it will come and also international economy also it will come imf world bank what is the how north south uh, divide rich country poor country so like that we will handle this is all very easy already we we already without reading it we have some basic idea okay so but uh, in a structured manner again we have to prepare and then you and world regionalization of world politics means the, the regionalization of world politics means completely international organization how it is working why that is been formed whether it is working well why it is not working sark why sark is not working why how come eu is little successful asian is successful bimstek so like that we will be discussing these things also covers in the gs only and contemporary global concern you have to note that the world problems too so these kind of topics definitely we can expect from sa sa also our paper covers uh, women empowerment and then democracy terrorism nuclear non proliferation human security so this chapter these chapters and all definitely we have to read it in uh, so this uh, uh, chapter number 11 you have to prepare detailly for sa sa topics okay so this doesn't require any new uh, ideas okay so to prepare this easily we can do it and then paper 2 section b is completely bilateral relation for gs again i am going to handle the bilateral relations okay so same thing only same thing only in fact uh, the polity part and bilateral part will be easier in psar than in gs gs only the questions will be tough in psar open questions easily you can handle it the questions will be very easy that doesn't mean that getting mark is easy okay for that we again we need some kind of A strategy, a structured preparation, strategy, effort is required. Okay, here you will be using some technical terms. What we are going to read it in the chapter six, key concepts in internationalization. What all the terms we will be discussing it detailly. So those terms you have to use it, and then you have to. So this is looking like this, this concept. This is looking like this idea, like that. You have to add the terms. GS will be writing as a generalist here, as a specialist will be writing. Content is same, but here you have to use the technical words. in gs no need to use the technical words like a layman simple man you can write it because uh, 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 bilateral relation international relation means other subject students will not read it but we are we are 25 percentage of the syllabus plus 25 percentage other 25 is the the core concept the key concept that means the theoretical part so always section a is the theoretical part section b will be the application part any subject mostly so in paper 1 first part is political theory the concepts section b how this theories are applied in india the indian politics like that in paper 2 section a is the the theory of international relations section b is india and the world application 
Okay, if you can understand that means how to write an answer, you will understand. While writing section A, you bring the examples from section B. While writing section B, you will be writing the examples. Bring the concepts from section A. That's all. This is a trick, simple trick. You can get the maximum marks. So when you are writing this bilateral relation, these ch chapters, bring the concept, the terms which are which you are you are reading it from section A. While writing quality based question, for example, right to speech means you have to bring uh, J S Mills uh, uh, liberty liberty concept. So the, in A we will be reading it as a concept by thinker. So as per J S Mill, uh, who is a champion of liberty, like that you have to start in our Constitution Article 19 1A. Uh, right to ex free expression is there. Like that, you have to start. That's all. Just to quote it and then start. Simple, simply we can handle. This is the entire subject. Okay. So, paper one, we have 10 chapters. In that five chapters, political science sake only, we will be reading it. And you have to note that the ninth and 10th chapter are the biggest chapter we are handling. Okay. So, literally 30% of our time will be spent on 9 and 10. It will take at least 2 3 months to cover. Same thing only as a concept we will be discussing. Okay, so justice, equality, rights, democracy, this will be useful for your ethics. And then paper one, section B, entirely our uh, po political sign, uh, Indian polity part. So the thing which is uh, shaded in green, general, general topic, politics. The thing which is in yellow color, you have to note that this is uh, our Indian constitution only. But the application side, more in on application side than the theory. Okay, and then paper two, section A, we have 11 chapters. In that, again, five chapters, we'll be reading it for political science sake only. That won't be useful for your GS. So, other five chapters will be useful for your GS paper. So, globalization is in paper three, international economics, and then seven, changing uh, international political order, GS1, world politics, we'll be reading, and then evolution of international uh, economic system, uh, GS2, GS3, in both the papers, it will come economics, and then this is for AC. And paper two, section B is completely, it is uh, GS paper only. In paper two, we have bilateral relation, that part. International organization and bilateral, we'll be discussing that in GS. Same thing only will come here. The writing part, we have to slightly change it, that's all. That we will do it, okay? So altogether, we can we can say like this. This is the entire GS, uh, entire uh, PSAR subject. Means at least 62% uh, or 63% of the uh, PSAR subjects coincides with um, GS. Okay. And 25 percentage of the subject is core subject. And another 12 percentage is essay ethics. So this is how our subjects, uh, topics are. Okay. Then. And then the subject introduction. Subject introduction just now, uh, see, uh, again, one more time. See, this is paper one, section A. So, 10 chapters will be there. In that, you have to note the ninth and 10 chapters are the core idea, core in paper one, section A. The Western political thought and Indian political thought. Okay. So, in Western political thought, specifically, we will be reading about the thinkers, the proponents, and what these people said regarding political science. So, that part only we will handle. And note that this is not going to be a philosophical class. For example, Plato, Aristotle, Men. See, this Aristotle guy, he's a father of all subjects. Father of philosophy, father of uh, uh, history also, you can say. Father of political science, father of biology, botany, zoology. So, this guy is a champion of all subjects. We are not going to read all these things. With respect to our syllabus, what is required? Regarding politics, political science, what he said? That part only we are going to handle. Okay. So, this is not a college or a regular course. This is for examination purpose, no? So that part only we are going to handle. Plato, you wanted to read about Plato means it will take two years, I will tell you. Two years. Two years I have to take class. So that much content is there, Aristotle, Plato. Only. So regarding political science, what is there? That part alone we will handle. Okay. And then, and then, uh, so what I will do is I want to go in a linear manner. So chapter number one, what is called political theory? Okay, how to read political theory? What are the different approaches to uh, find out how the political system is working in a country. So that is political theory. This is completely raw, dry chapter. Okay, and then number two, theories of the state. What different uh, uh, ideological people think about how the state should be there. So that is theories of state. 
okay so liberal neo liberal marxist pluralist post colonial feminist so different different ideological people are there they have a set of ideas they have their own ideas in their view how the state should work so what feminist will say very simple uh, the state should work in favor of the uh, uh, actually it is working in favor of the male so uh, women are been discriminated women doesn't enjoy anything so everything should be that means gender equality should be there the state policies laws working everything should be gender gen, uh, generally neutral allow women to enter into the parliament like that they will say okay so like the different different ideologies are there they will give their own idea how state should look like and chapter number 3 justice what is called justice the conception of justice and particularly what john rawls say about justice and his critics so like that we will discuss justice different different forms of justice is there that part we have to discuss and then john rawls uh, idea of justice and then uh, we have uh, equality what is social equality political equality economic equality and the relationship between equality and freedom so that part we have to handle it's easy and then rights what do you mean by right what are the different perspectives of right theories of right different kinds of right and finally what is the concept of human rights human right is very popular now throughout the world what is what do you mean by human rights how human rights is faring well whether it is good or bad so that part how to ensure that how national human rights commission is working so like that we have to discuss so definitely you have to read this chapter very nicely because essay ethics as well as here and also in gs in all the four subjects regarding human rights questions will come so we need a deeper understanding to handle the essay ethics question that we will get it here because different so uh, people who will support uh, and then uh, sometimes people will oppose a certain type of rights we'll get all the perspectives so we can handle it better okay and then democracy the classical what is the classical theory contemporary theory the different models of democracy representative democracy participatory democracy uh, deliberative democracy so we have to discuss okay different types different models of democracy and then the concept of what do you mean by power hegemony ideology legitimacy and what is the relationship between the four so this is chapter number 1 all these chapters will take one day to read that's all in one day you can prepare class also one class we can complete it. but uh, chapter 8 9 10 it will take time okay chapter 8 the different ideologies liberalism socialism fascism uh, f- uh, marxism uh, gandhism feminism okay the different ideologies so you, you have to be very clear in chapter number 8 then only you can you can handle all the other subjects all other topics paper one paper two both so these ideas you have to be very clear in marxist point of view in liberal point of view socialist point of view feminist point of view like that each and every problem we are going to approach that's all so chapter number 8 is very uh, important not in marx point of view but in understanding point of view because in all other questions we are going to handle in this format only mostly mostly according to liberals according to marxists only like that only we are going to write the answers for answer writing for other topics this chapter number 8 is important they may or may not directly ask but every question every topic we are going to read in psr we have to ha- we have to use this these keywords and the thinkers in liberalism also different types of liberalism different thinkers are there what uh, j s mill is telling or what robert nozick is telling like the different different uh, thinkers perspective we have to handle other subjects and then indian political thought the ancient indian political thought first three topics dharma shastra artha shastra political i mean buddhist thought this is ancient indian political theory and then comes uh, muslim political thought sir sayed ahmed khan and then comes one hindu political thought arabindo the arabindo is the starting point of all this hindu thought but he is not a hindu hindu guy hindu guy means although he promoted hindu ideas but he is not that hindu thought the present hindu thought so from he, so or we can say he is the mastermind sir arabindo arabindo pandicherry arabindo arabindo ashram that guy okay arabindo ghosh okay his ideas are very noble okay so and then the gandhi and then ambedkar for the down trodden social justice and then marxist guy uh, mn roy so this is indian political thought and then western political thought is there so three ancient uh, two ancient thinkers are there uh, that is before 2000 years plato aristotle belong to to the more than 2000 years before machiavelli from 1500 other people are modern people hobbes locke mill and then karl marx gramsci and anna arendt is a 19th century 1900 uh, thinker post world war thinker okay so this will take lot of time for us 
because here every thinker will take one day for us every thinker will take one day this uh, two thinkers we can cover it in one day but this and all every chapter we can do it in one day so this is the weightage weightage means content in terms of content i am telling marks wise common only but content wise these thinkers are the biggest part so uh, near, nearly it will take nearly 10 classes for me to complete chapter number 10 another 5 5 to 6 class five classes is required for indian political thinker remaining 10 classes are required for the other chapters okay so like that uh, the weightage is there and then coming to paper 1 section b the indian government and politics first chapter is the indian nationalism the different strategies in indian nationalism okay the constitutionalism mass satyagraha non cooperation movement civil disobedience movement militant revolutionary movement peasant movements etc so uh, like like history we will be writing it actually we will reading it from the history book only but you have to apply the see for example um, uh, uh, this revolutionary movement movement more sometimes um, uh, it will uh, coincides very close with marxist movements majority of the revolutionaries are marxist people gandhi means gandhism you have to bring so that ideology you have to connect here and then you have to uh, explain the thing non cooperation movements gandhian movement liberal movement again it is also a liberal movement also people have right to revolt against the government if government is not taking care of the people properly this is a liberal idea based on that only non cooperation civil disobedience where non violence is there whereas the peasant movements and revolutionary movements involves violence marxist thinking will approve violence liberal ideas liberalism will not approve violence so like that we have to handle that all so the basic understanding is okay means the 8 9 10 chapters of section 1 is okay means literally the entire psr easily we can handle it. for that a deep understanding is required chapter 8 ideology chapter 9 indian political thought is different the chapter 10 8 and 10 is very important okay the western political thinker and the western ideologies okay and then the perspectives of indian national movement so this we won't be reading it in a uh, uh, history okay so this part you have to note that um, uh, uh, how this liberal people view indian history socialistic people marxist people view indian history that part we will be discussing this is the history part this is the different perspectives of the indian freedom movement and then the making of the indian constitution the legacies of british uh, rule uh, different social political perspectives we will be reading and then the salient features of indian constitution okay preamble fundamental right duty dpsp parliamentary system uh, amendment procedure judicial review basic doctrine the concepts how our indian constitution is constructed that part and then the principal organs of the union government and state government the envisaged role and actual working of the executive legislature and supreme court so here they will be discussing uh, what is mandated in the constitution and how they are performed like that you have to read it. what are the duties of uh, governor that is the envisaged role actual working means what uh, our uh, tamil nadu governor is doing that is the actual working so you have to connect central government state government opposition party uh, ruling party uh, how governor is appointed who appoints that the, the ruling central party only is appo- appointing it if it is an opposition state means then the governors are putting pressure on the government state government the governor so like that you have to handle okay. like that uh, st- state also envisaged role actual working of executive legislature and high court and then the panchayat raj panchayat raj municipal government 70 that 74th amendment grassroots movements and then the statutory commissions the different commissions the statutory body constitution body non statutory non constitution bodies these bodies we will be discussing and then the central state relation so this all are uh, lakshmi kanth stuff only but the application part okay Uh, what are the provisions available in the constitution to sort out the interstate river water dispute that is constitution how uh, what you have to do is you have to apply it between tamil nadu karnataka kaveri river you have to bring it that's all like that okay uh, uh, constitution provision changing nature of central state relation integrationist tend- tendencies regional aspiration central government is trying to centralize everything state government want to complete autonomy so that part and interstate disputes how to handle it what are the provisions whether the provisions are working how the states are uh, they are handling the their problems that part we will discuss and then planning and economic development this is the 11th ncert book indian economy like that one green color book will be there no so that part only planning nehru gandhi and plan role of planning commission and then public sector green revolution land reforms agrarian reforms liberalization economic reforms in india the economy part the base 
and then caste religion it is this is politics polity this is politics so how things are working elections uh, vote banks uh, the social problems and uh, emancipation etc reservation so all these things uh, caste politics religion based politics ethnicity based politics the north eastern states people are fighting with each other ethnicity based religion based caste based so like the real world and then the party system the national regional political parties ideologies their social basis pattern of cohesion pol cohesion politics uh, coalition politics and then uh, pressure groups so election behavior the profiles of the mps mlas so this this we can read it so all in, in this chapters and all uh, mostly because now election was there this year lot of uh, information came in newspaper itself you have a newspaper reading means this these things uh, answers and all easily you can write it you can get the maximum mark and then social movements civil liberty human rights movement women movements uh so so all the indian in india what all the movements was there so those things will be there and then paper 2 section a comparative politics nature and approaches same as paper 1 section a chapter 1 and then what is called political economy what is called political sociology and the limitations of comparative politics this will take one day to read it not one day one sitting to read it evening i, I see so, uh, fresher you may not know so evening after coffee if i sit means before dinner i will complete this. like that only content is there slowly steadily if you understand uh, if you follow the class means it it will take 3 4 hours we can easily we can handle this and then state in comparative perspective changing uh, characteristic and changing nat nature of state in capitalistic economy socialistic economy and in advanced industrial countries and developing society how state is there so that part and then politics of representation and participation the political party pressure group so same thing we have already we have read it in the pa party system in paper 1 section b one chapter same thing in international level we have read it in uh, industrial uh, uh, society advanced industrial society developing society total matter of 3 hours only maximum we easily we can handle it if you are in full examination mode means fresher means it may take one day that's all okay and then globalism globalization uh re responses from developed and developing societies and then this chapter chapter number 5 is very important like ideology what we have discussed that in internationalization theory what all the different ideas idealism realism marxism functionalism system theory the approaches to the study of international relation so this will take uh, four five classes okay each chapter will take one day for you and then the key concepts in international relation national interest security and power balance of power and deterrence transnational actors collective security world capitalist economy and globalization so these concepts uh, using this concept only you have to handle the section b answers the 5 6 you you have to use these terms and then handle the india and the world chapter section b and then uh, this is the world history part changing international political order rise of the superpowers strategic and ideological bipolarity arms race cold war nuclear threat non aligned movement collapse of soviet union unipolarity american hegemony relevance of non alignment in contemporary world so actually for this and all special preparation is not required so many students directly they will go and write if you are if you are properly aware of the international politics means you have to know the international politics newspaper reading easily we can handle and then evolution of international economic system from britain wood to wto okay world bank imf to wto socialist economies the cmea the third world countries nio that is a new international economic order and the globalization of world economy this is chapter 3 i mean uh, gs3 international economic chapter this and all we have to read very deeply deeply means in the sense in the newspaper okay content and all one day content only so with uh, with the newspaper reading the contents from newspaper you can get maximum mark and then united nation envisaged role and actual record what is the original role how uh, un is working and then specialize the un agencies aims and function and need for un reforms so not all easy so people will not spend the time in this and all in the chapter and all main students so directly so automatically when you are preparing for gs these things are included in that literally and then regionalization of world politics the international organization eu asia and apex arc nafta and other popular organizations like aco uh, bimstek that also will come and then the contemporary global concern the essay topic i said democracy uh, human rights environment gender justice terrorism and nuclear proliferation 
so this is paper 1 paper 2 section a and then paper 2 section b india and the world first the basics of indian foreign policy the determinant of indian foreign policy the institutions of uh, policy making continuity and change whether it is so when when prime minister modi took over the control in that newspaper on the day this news came foreign policy change and continuity we since we have retained all uh, almost the same ministers this time also second time and third time government is going for continuity like that uh, article scheme if you have read that means you can handle this question that's all that is the total content so no need to mug up anything if you read the newspaper means we will infer some two three uh, information no? from that you have to interpret and write the answers and then non alignment movement different phases current role and india's contribution and then india and south asia indian neighbors south asia the regional cooperation sarc past performance future prospects and the uh, that is uh, safta that is south asian free trade agreement how trade is happening between the sarc countries and then india's look east policy and impediments in regional cooperation river water dispute illegal cross border migration ethnic conflict insurgency bound uh, border disputes see uh, last week uh, sheikh hasina came to india bangladesh prime minister on the day two three articles came if you have read one article means you can handle this this chapter uh, one, 3d interstate disputes with bangladesh we have the largest boundary we have river water problem is there illegal migration problem is there ethnic problems are also there border disputes were there so so the entire chapter the entire thing is handled in the in that in that in the one day newspaper so we can handle this okay and then india and the global south south means under developed and uh, uh, still developing south africa south america and some of the asian countries okay so relation with africa latin america india's leadership role in new international economic order and wto and then india and the global powers big power big big five okay us eu japan china and russia and then india and the united nation the role of uh, role india's role in un peacekeeping and demand for permanent seat in security council this and all naturally you have to write it okay so class and all we won't discuss much easily we can do it okay and then india and uh, nuclear question so from the newspaper we have to infer everything india and the nuclear question changing perception and policy and then recent developments in indian foreign policy i mean uh, uh, so you know you now israel palestine problem is going on russia ukraine problem is going on regarding that what is india's policy like that so these questions and all easily we can predict easily we can predict so, so ch chapter number 8 they are asking a question means what will happen is uh, mostly this year what question will be there means regarding israel palestine what india's stand is there regarding uh, russia ukraine war what is india's stand is there yeah, so i have said two topics from that definitely one question will be there that's all easily we can predict recent development means what is happening presently so you have to go lively okay so if you if you have that uh, newspaper reading habit means easily we can handle this okay so this is the entire entire syllabus and in our course how our test series will be that means see every class this time i have planned to have a test so minimum 50 test will be there mini test so when you come to the class class will start with the test only uh, uh, for uh, uh, 50 marks test three questions will be giving 50 marks means 35 minutes 35 minutes test will be there after that only class that day is discussion will be there okay and then we will have a revision test totally uh, 10 test is there so this is what i have planned for this year so uh, section wise so this is chapter wise topic wise so, so saturday sunday we have class so next saturday sunday uh, saturday sunday you will be writing the topics of this uh, these things so like that one by one we will handle so in a in a micro uh, manner we will handle and then in the macro manner we will handle and finally you will be having the full test okay so uh, if possible i will give orientation for test also apart from the class we will have separate orientation class what all the questions asked in the particular chapter how you have to handle so separately we will have so this year uh, for a test series we have a very detailed test uh, series okay so we will try to apply all these things in our class itself okay so uh, 50 test will be there minimum mini test and then this is regular test 150 marks test will be there two hours test will be there eight test and then two full test will be there paper on paper so this comes with your course and then for all these things for all the static parts except the india and the world uh, and then some polity issues 
for all other things material i will provide so all materials are freshly prepared latest material and uh, now only reviews also came i gave to certain people the material is very good very good to best like that it is there so again one more time we will review so while we are discussing that particular topic before that i will provide the material okay because you are the people who are going to get the material first first edition okay completely new yearly and all i gave different material now completely in a new format um, uh, and then you can also refer some basic books also if you want you can buy these books so what i'm telling is in the class we will be discussing i will be giving class notes also so uh, in bilateral class and all simply i will run very fast because i have a limited time there so I use i use ppt and then quickly i will complete and then i have to wind up within the given time but psr it is not like that we can take enough time okay so until you are satisfied and until i am satisfied we can have that class so no problem is there we need for certain topics we need some extra discussion means we can go slowly no issue certain things united nation based means that and all doesn't need much input basic input is there means you can manage that. so like that we will go so all chapters i am not going to give equal weightage first to the among the 40 chapters 15 chapters i said no for that i will give extra weightage for certain other topics you have to note that if i give basic uh, uh, idea means you can handle means basic idea only will be given two three chapters are there for that no uh, input is required you have to write it on your own so that you have to handle it so like that we will do it. instead of giving equal weightage to everything where you need more help i will we will spend more time on that i will i will completely take care so like that we will go okay and then classes also you have to note that we will not go in a linear manner as per the subject syllabus okay chapter 1 2 3 means if you take chapter number 1 means people will get afraid because very raw subject okay how to read political science after reading political science we have to read how to read political science that will be easy so you can understand if you directly go how to read political science means those method we can't do it because this subject is meant for the research fellows the phd people are then how to do research that is research is no need to do it here in what way they are doing research that's all stick to that don't do research chapter number 1 so what i will do is i'll start with the western political part plato aristotle machiavelli and then i will stop here and then again i will go to uh, political ideology liberalism socialism we have to discuss then only we can handle hobbes locke mill marx gramsci and anna anna hanant is a separate idea so first three cha chapter first uh, three days we will be handling the western political part and then next we will go for liberalism socialism we will discuss and then we will come back and discuss all the liberal guys and the socialist guys and again we will complete the remaining uh, political idea literally uh, in terms of content uh, i mean weightage you have to note that half of the syllabus will be over it will take nearly 15 classes 15 days 15 classes means nearly two uh, around 2 uh, months two months it will take for these two chapters and after that uh, one day or oh, uh, every every day we will we will complete one chapter like that we will we will complete the entire thing okay i think you got an idea about uh, what all the things we are going to discuss okay so materials for all the static part we will be given so other things handouts uh, and then pdfs like that i will share the uh, i mean the dynamic part dynamic part means so i can't make a material and give you today i am giving a material for india and the world man it won't be useful for you when you are going to write for september 2025 on the day just uh, one month before that or 25 days before that you need the fresh updates so we will see that later but these parts uh, for example this uh, key concepts these things and all uh, except this polity part we will do it so 30 chapters literally material is available 10 chapters handouts plus pdfs only around 10 to 12 chapters okay because that is a current affairs based okay okay and then and then uh, next is this um, class content and so i already i said in the class we will be discussing topic and then while discussing itself i will give you the notes line by line only i will give you the notes in between i will be explaining slow and steadily only we will move forward so foundation we will put very strongly once you are good with that means the second part is very easy second part is very easy okay 
and then test i said already i said every day we will start with the test and then uh, revision test also will be there after completing the particular area we will have a revision test full test also will be there by the end so like that we will handle okay the strategy of preparation we will uh, we will discuss little later okay so because the 10 11 15 that student uh, will will come online i think that now you can have a 5 minutes fire 10 5 minutes break if you come back means we can interact with that uh, student okay so 11 20 we can interact with the student sharply okay just take 5 minutes and after interaction i will tell you how to prepare so uh, you ask questions from him also okay how to prepare how he prepared uh, is a very sharp student okay um uh, you just ask him the question how to prepare what are the plus and minuses Uh, as a fresher, what I have to do after completing one round to take the maximum marks, what I have to do. Two levels are there actually. Okay, like that you, you ask him question how he did it and what all the things you have to extract from me. That also you you take it from him. So so you are here for guidance. What particularly I need from the staff? Okay, certain things you can you have to manage by your own. No. So, so in that I am not even I am, if I am not helping means it is not a big problem. But certain areas are there you need help. For that you have to so I have to help you know. So that area first you have to identify. In that priority only we have to do our preparation and how to do GS preparation because he is all India second uh, topper I think in terms of GS marks. So just to check with him, uh, we don't know exactly but he is a topper in uh, GS uh, mains. so just to uh, ask him how to prepare that also and uh, how to uh, prepare gs and psr the balancing part so that you uh, get get the idea from me. okay and then uh, any other special tricks are there what all he did to prepare so that part and all just ask him okay so uh, now take a break and quickly come by 11 20 11:20 sharply we'll start okay what's the time 11:10 Ah, ten minutes. Okay. After that, I will tell you what uh, in my in my view how you have to prepare. That I will tell you, and I will take the questions at the later. Uh, okay. So ten, eleven, twenty, we'll meet back. Okay. Quickly.
So till he connects online, we will continue. Okay. So. So actually, uh, with respect to the PSAR, in preliminary examination, we can get benefits from this subject, sir. Indian polity, 15 to 20 questions. Okay, so while preparing for PSAR itself, we have to get it. I will share everything, in, uh, in uh, every, all these PDFs, okay? And then bilateral relations, three to five questions may come. Up to three, minimum three, five questions will come. We can, so with our subjects, we can take advantage of this, okay? And then modern India, eight to 12 questions, sir. International organization, five to eight questions. International economy, two to four questions. Ideologies. And in mains examination, we will get a lot of benefits from GS. So already I said two-third of our PSAR subject is GS subject. But here what I'm telling is in GS subject, this is the this is the uh, PSAR's reflection in GS, GS syllabus. So Indian polity in paper two, uh, GS 125 marks will come. And then bilateral relation, 75 marks will come. Okay. Modern India, 50 marks, up to 50 marks. 50 marks in GS paper, they will ask. So while preparing for PSR, you have to prepare for this also, like that. Okay. International organization, 20 marks. Economy, 15 marks. Ideology, 50, 10 marks. So this is how we have to handle. Okay. So connect on a Suluga and the Pine Samir connect on a Suluga. Okay. okay. So and then and then you see regarding the strategy of preparation, you see. Um uh, see, uh, we have to prepare the subject in levels. This is this is my experience uh, based on my experience, I'm telling this, okay. Uh, in levels, we can prepare means it will be easy. Three level preparation is required, actually. So in our course, we will complete two levels of preparation. The third level, you have to prepare on your own self-preparation. Any subject I'm telling, and this is not for PSA. Especially for PSA, like that you take it. Three levels we have to prepare. So level one, what we'll do is the class preparation. In class, we'll be discussing the concepts. And then uh, the next class, we'll be writing the test on that particular idea. No, So that will with the first preparation, first level of preparation, beginner level. So in this, be clear about the concepts. Okay, once the, the foundation, you have to put it. When you are, we, for this, we'll take a lot of time. It will, it will consume six months. Okay, we'll take that particular time. Once we complete that, the revision test will be there. By the time you have to note that, you have to go for the second level. So here, subject plus uh, UPSC questions, how to uh, bring that particular idea and get marks, how to write the best answer, that part we will we will, we will handle. So that also I, I will include in this course today. So actually, earlier and all, separately only people will do it. This time, the second level also will do it. Third, you have to note that uh, this will be, you will be doing after the preliminary examination. Only test series. You have to prepare on your own with all the inputs and then you have to improve the rank marks, that part. That part is only with you only. Okay, so I can run with you all only in the first two levels. First level only, normally we do. So this time we had a very elaborated test program. So uh, a lot of updated materials are there. So with that, what I, what we will do is we'll have the second level also. Revision test, revision test, orientation plus revision test. Third level, you have to prepare on you. So this is very important. Okay, 
so only on self preparation only people can improve their marks don't just think that by just attending the class you will get through this is not a 10th 12th max max subject if you go to the max teacher means he will he will make us to pass or he will make us send them no like the all possibility is not there <laughs> the online students also you can raise your hands we will enable you and then uh, you can uh, you can also ask questions to the topper okay so at the end of the discussion you will have the question and answer discussion i mean session okay so first let him uh, say about uh, his experience and then you ask the question what all the doubts you are having how he prepared so that part you just ask him so online students have to raise your hands in telegram Okay. Uh, good morning, uh, Samir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Sorry for so uh, this is uh, some delay. Um, uh, it can be a little bit brighter, I think. Ah, uh, good. Very good. Okay. Okay, okay Samir. Ah, uh, uh, students, see, this is Samir, who is uh, one of the topper uh, this year. Okay, for uh, who secured forty second rank. He's having a very, um, a very uh, good experience. Uh, okay, in in the preparation part, I'm telling. So what you do is you just uh, ask him what all uh, you wanted to know regarding preparation of uh, PSAR as well as GS. First, let him say about his uh, the, on his own. Let him uh, uh, discuss that, and after that you can ask the questions. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, you can so, take over. So good morning, sir, and uh, good morning all. Uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity to interact. uh very uh, i have been very grateful to govin sir uh, because of uh, him and because i got in touch with him uh, i could see a jump in my score i did not actually do something very different in fact i was uh, not even a full time aspirant i was into my training decided to appear for exam after a gap of say uh, two years and uh, two two years or two attempts and then uh, somehow i got in touch with sir and that was very helpful so firstly things about me i am uh, samir uh, prakash khode so that's my full name i am from nagpur and uh, uh, i am a chemical engineer from nit nagpur and an mba from i am lucknow and i worked for around 7 years in corporate sector consulting and then uh, i got into irts my first attempt uh, irts and uh, 2019 batch and currently posted in uh, raipur so so after this first attempt i decided to appear for one more attempt uh, which was in 2020 so uh, i'll talk about it in terms of uh, how psir went and how gs went but uh, 
so in the second attempt because of very low interview score despite uh, having improved in gs uh, i i stood where i was so i continued with my service and then next two attempts i did not appear and uh, this was uh, my third attempt and my last attempt uh, by my age and i, I appeared for it and uh, last year around say march i was uh, march or even april i was a uh, little bit uh, up to say march or april i was not very much decided about appearing for it but then mid april and i was like okay this is this one is going to be my last attempt and i'll uh, go for it so and and so that has been the attempt when i got into uh, or or rather i get into is with uh, rank 42 so that has been a very brief uh, about my journey and uh, one second see yes so so my optional has been psir as you know and uh, in today's session we will uh, focus mostly on psir however i would also take uh, any generic questions if you have uh, but talking about psir i i just have uh, three four points to make and then uh, i think it's better if we do it in a question and answer format because i think that would serve the purpose better so about psir why psir so uh, not an interview sort of answer but i selected psir because uh, i i i am an mba so i was not very uh, comfortable uh, with taking management because there are certain empirical uh, aspects involved into it and when it is empirical you can't actually Uh, give your own view you need to uh, tie yourself to a process or to a formula and uh, i was actually then uh, uh, exploring what could be the options and i took help from my brother he has also been an aspirant uh, currently is into some other service but he uh, has also been an aspirant and he had uh, this psir as a subject and then he told me it is uh, quite an interesting subject and then i i did a, a comparison management uh, visa vis psir so management is good practical i studied my bread and butter came from management but i also uh, uh, read psir uh, the the syllabus and also the brief part so what i liked about the subject is firstly you get to know what actually is government what is uh, state uh, who are actually governing us or rather are we governing ourselves uh, in in a democracy and uh, so so you come to know what is the origin from various perspectives from say greek perspective from indian perspective and so on so it is quite uh, interesting to know uh, how how governments function and uh, and what what has been the history towards it you also come to know about economics because uh, uh, i mean money has also been important how people earn their living and and so on you also come to know about history uh where were we 1000 years back where were we 2000 years back where was england where was france and and so on so and then you also come to know about sociology what uh, who are different uh, say kinds of people around us uh, where do we stand and not just say our vicinity but the uh, world in entirety and and then you also come to know about our freedom struggle how we uh, come to how we reach the state where we are now uh, our constitution and uh, how it came into being how it has been our guiding light and also the contemporary part what is happening around us what is happening in the world so uh, so just look at it as a story uh, an over evolving story and ever evolving story and uh, you you look at it, uh, you look at psir in uh, from that perspective and it really becomes interesting even for somebody not having any background uh, into humanities or even into psir uh, now now this has been the uh, why psir or uh, why i chose this subject part uh, but also if when when you are studying psir you get help into some other subjects for instance essay uh, because you would have access to lots of say quotes lots of anecdotes uh, lots of example right from the era of chandragupta maurya chanakya to to now Uh, and even from personalities such as uh, burki abraham lincoln gandhi ji so it it would help you in essay it would help you some somewhat in gs1 also because you would be touching the indian freedom struggle part and you would also have some insights into say uh, society and uh, phenomenon such as uh, 
uh, the all, all the social uh, indicators and it would also help you in a big way in gs2 uh, because you would be little bit more thorough with uh, 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 our uh, holy constitution and uh, also our polity uh, I'm, I'm not sure about gs3 but it would also help you in uh, ethics for the same reason why i told you uh, I, I told you why it would help you in essay and uh, and and finally, as a as an optional, you would really have a good time, uh, an interesting time uh, studying uh, PSIR. So so that has been uh, my uh, my take on PSIR. Now uh, I'll briefly touch upon how to uh, prepare for PSIR. So there are uh, three ways rather. One is uh, you do it on your own. You look at the syllabus. You uh, uh, you explore everything, you prepare your own notes and uh, you do it on your own. But it would be a little bit time consuming and uh, everybody may not have that much bandwidth. Second is a shortcut. You purchase some book or some uh, you, you obtain some notes from your friends and, and, and then you read about it. But after a certain point of time, it would actually uh, make your performance mediocre because you would not be taking much efforts into uh, the uh, the subject and I would also tell you later on why I mean in my first two attempts I did this second approach and why I uh, hovered around 245 uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you about that and third is uh, you you get mentored by somebody and, uh, uh, and and then you are helped in terms of notes and all but but that is not it uh, that that is not everything so whatever notes you have uh, would form only the basis. Uh, for instance, if uh, you have to understand about Plato's idea, uh, Plato's idea about state, Aristotle's idea about state, or J.S. Mill's concept of uh, liberty, uh, and, and so on. So th this would only give you basis. Uh, any notes or any help by any mentor or any coaching, this would this, this would give you basic, basic uh, or, or rather basis. And now you will have to do your own research uh, to enhance your understanding. For that, you can uh, access a um, few, few other sources uh, wherever required. I'll uh, talk about that as well. For instance, the IGNU is a uh, the, the IGNU Open Library is a great source. There is an en uh, encyclopedia by Stanford University named uh, Plato. That is also a good source. Even Wikipedia pages of uh, of uh, uh, of most of the thinkers or most of the Topics, uh, they are also a good source of learning. So I, I don't want to just uh, do a monologue and bombard you with all the ideas, but I'm just uh, touching upon the brief. And uh, that is how uh, the, uh, I mean, you would gather your ideas, you, you would refine your understanding. Uh, now, after having done this, you, I would suggest, uh, or rather I would urge uh, you to take a look at previous year questions. Because think of you as an architect, if I ask you to build a house and uh, unless I give you a prototype, you would just be building castles in the air or, or you would be building demolishing uh, some things and you would never ask me or never know what I want. So that is that is how, that is the same analogy with PYQs. PYQs actually give you a direction about what is being asked, what is relevant, what is important. And uh, you should and, also... Uh, you, you should also take a look at PYQs, what is being asked, uh, which topics are emphasized upon. Uh, for instance, uh, JS, uh, John Rawls' concept of justice, uh, JS Mills' uh, concept of uh, liberty, uh, the uh, Gramsci's uh, concept of uh, hegemony and um, Hannah Arendt's concept of power. So these are, uh, you, you need not be intimidated. I mean, these would be your day-to-day, -day, I would say, lingo. Uh, so these uh, things are are uh, being asked and uh, you would realize this only when you say go through PYQs, you do its analysis and the best part is when you try to attempt them somewhat closer to your uh, uh, exam. And uh, so so this, this is about PYQ. Then test series, I would not uh, overemphasize. Uh, it, is, it is important. Uh, you should uh, do it. So uh if if you are in a you know in a mentorship it, it could be a, a series if you are somewhere remote uh uh or, or if you can't afford then even solving pyqs you should treat it as a test series and uh but 
a series, uh, there are two, three objectives which you should achieve. One is uh, your speed and uh, your uh, coherence in your ideas. If I'm asking you A, you should talk about A and not write B and C, which you know. Rather, even if you know A in a very, I would say, crude manner, you should just tell, tell what you know about A and not uh, other parts. So test series would actually help you uh, do this. And uh, evaluation, uh, the pointers would help you understand where you are going uh, wrong. So th that is the importance. And lastly, about the contemporary part, um, for instance, the what is happening in uh, international relations, the courts, even in uh, Indian polity, uh, quotes from certain thinkers. So for this, you can uh, refer to certain sources such as uh, YouTube, newspapers, We'll talk about this in details if, if there is a specific question. Uh, but this is how I think uh, briefly you should prepare for uh, PSIR. In terms of uh, uh, how much time to dedicate, there is no formula. There is no single approach which everybody can do. But as a thumb rule, I would say, I mean, you can uh, follow a 2 is to one formula. Uh, you, you can say give 2x amounts of time for GS and then 1x amount of time for uh, your optional. Uh, that, that is how you can, uh, I, I would say, plan your study. And uh, so balancing preparation with uh, PSIR and GS, I think I, I briefly uh, touched here in terms of how to dedicate time. Uh, and, and, and we'll also uh, talk about this in details if there is a question. And uh, my uh, preparation, how I did it for GS and PSIR, I'll just uh, tell you in brief. So as I told you, I was uh, not a full-time aspirant last year and I decided somewhere around March that, okay, I'll be uh, taking this exam. So I revised my notes uh, before uh, uh, the exam because I had prepared my notes for GS as well as for PSIR. I had a simple thing on my mind that I will not go back to book again and again and I will just uh, read my notes for GS as well as for PSIR. So, so that was my first thing to do. Second thing is I went through all PYQs for GS as well as uh, PSIR. Uh, firstly, I analyzed them and I also solved them. For GS, uh, it, it was easy. I could solve them. There were also some solutions available online by some coaching institutes. For PSIR, I did it with a study mate, uh, I, my own batchmate. He was also uh, appearing last year and then uh, I and he both would uh, actually brainstorm on questions and uh, and solve them. And I, I've been telling you PYQs, PYQs, but partly the idea also came from uh, Bowen sir because I I realized and he made it explicit that some of the test series questions were also PYQs uh, that that were put by him. And and we found them we found those questions to be uh, highly relevant. So PYQs I told you, and then uh, I joined a test series. I was a part of uh, Shankar's uh, PSIR as well as GS uh, test series and the evaluation helped. We, the, the faculty who evaluated were also accessible. So it was not that some number was put on your paper, uh, but, but there was also some thinking went behind it and the faculty were very much, uh, I would say, uh, gracious, uh, graceful uh, to, to share uh, the evaluation pattern and also give feedback. And... Uh, so, and yeah, lastly, for uh, GS as well as for PSIR, I made a repository of, uh, for, for, for example, for GS2, a repository of all the articles, of all the committee recommendations, uh, and all the Supreme Court cases. For GS1, a repository of examples. For example, if there is a question on globalization and say link to role of women or role of farmers or even the economy. So if there is a question with these keywords, what are the examples that I'm going to quote? So I prepared this for GS1, also for GS3 uh, and, and GS2 also. So these are all, I would say, fluid topics. And uh, I also created a repository of all statistics. For example, how much percentage of agriculture is irrigated? What What is uh, our spending on this, 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 and so, so on. So I created this. Uh, for my own, uh, took help from my study mate, my friend, and did that. And for PSIR, <coughs> apart from what I told you, <coughs> PYQs, uh, being in touch with sir, uh, solving test series uh, uh, diligently, 
Apart from that, I also created a repository of all quotes and all examples because in PSIR also, uh, you need uh, to quote in uh, in your paper too. Also in the uh, second B part of your uh, paper one. So I created a repository of all those quotes and uh, sir also helped us um, enhance our understanding uh, of certain concepts. For example, uh, when when Plato is seeing saying this, what is exactly its meaning, and who all who all are say agreeing to him or and and disagreeing to him? Uh, Chan Chanakya uh, say Mandal Siddhan. How do we apply it to the the contemporary uh, world situation? So uh, he helped us enhance our understanding on these uh, questions, and uh, and and that is how I uh, prepared for uh, PSIR. I I will be. I'd like to talk about uh, the specifics. Uh, but uh, to conclude, I would just say one uh, thing. Uh, what helped me get a uh, good score in PSIR, a jump from 243 to 278, that too with uh, only preparation in the last few months, also because I was working into training, into traveling and all, uh, is I think I differentiated my answers uh, from the rest. So it did not look like I purchased some uh, material uh, or I obtained some material and I was just reproducing what is uh, written in that material. Uh, and I am also quoting scholars, quoting uh, political analysts as a hearsay that, okay, these are all the famous ones, everybody quotes them. So let's, I also do it. So I differentiated uh, my approach, uh, my answers uh, with help from uh, sir. And uh, and I think that has uh, created a difference. So I would tell you uh, as, as a concluding thing that do take efforts. If you uh, happen to have time, then it is absolutely necessary that you should take efforts, uh, enhance your own understanding, uh, differentiate yourself and uh, answer the question rather than just uh, writing what you have, you, you have uh, memorized. And I think uh, this little bit of hard work would uh, create the difference. So I stop now. I have been uh, uh, generic in, uh, in in explaining my approach. So we'll be happy to to help to elaborate on anything specific. Okay, students now can ask questions. So one by one, the online students, just if you raise your hands, means we'll enable you in the Zoom. Okay. So people here, you have any questions to Samir? People online also can raise their hands. Okay. Shashvita. Hello, sir. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Hello. I'm audible now. Yeah, yes. hi, sir. Hi, so, audible. Yeah. So, what part of newspaper um, really helped you in your um, preparation? How how important was newspaper in your preparation? So, newspaper. Yes, uh, so newspaper is actually very very important, uh, provided you have uh, time to go through it. Uh, I in my first uh, attempt I was a full time working professional private sector and also my third attempt I was uh, say into training traveling and work as well. So I could not actually uh, read it in entirety. But to answer your question specifically, uh, newspaper. I would uh, refer to the editorials uh, be because I also have uh, ESIR as my optional. So every week you would have uh, some very, uh, say, experienced person writing about certain things. For instance, two, three days back, there was an article, I, I think, in Indian Express from the former Secretary General of uh, Lok Sabha talking about uh, the role of uh, speaker. So this, this is just an example. If uh, some high level visits ha happen, for, for instance, uh, uh, on India Bangladesh relations, there, there was an, uh, an opinion in uh, Indian Express. So I would actually refer to such things. Uh, I, I would, uh, uh, if, if I find it very relevant, I would just note that thing down in Evernote or say Google Keep Notes, uh, the, the statement or, or any say particular fact. And then I would. Uh, either paste them into my, say, uh, repository of, uh, I, I told you, cases, uh, facts, statistics, 
or even the uh, quotes for PSIR, which I told you. So I would make a limited use of newspaper in uh, this way. But if you have time, I think you should uh, read it in entirety, uh, barring the uh, news articles which are not relevant for your preparation. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, Hema, Ms. Hema. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, yes, sir. So, should we need to refer any NCRTs to strengthen our base and proceed our preparations? Or is there any sp uh, specific or particular NCRT should we need to refer to? Yes, actually, this is a, a, a very important uh, point or question that you posed. NCRT should be the basic of your preparation. Uh, in the beginning, I told you uh, that I was uh, going to focus mostly on PSIR, but would also take generic questions, uh, generic, I mean, covering GS as well. So this pertains to GS uh, as well. So NCRT should be the basis of your preparation. Now, in terms of which NCRTs, I, I do not have the exact, uh, say, standard on my mind, whether it is 9 standard, 10 standard. But yes, uh, I'll, I'll maybe let you know via sir that which, which ones are very relevant. But when it comes to polity, when it comes to history, uh, when it comes to geography and even economics, art and culture, NCRT should be the basis of your preparation. Anything you do should be over and above NCRT. And if you remember 10 minutes back, I told you that I would have my own notes for GS and I would not go back to uh, books. The, so the, when I said books, I meant NCRT, uh, NCRTs. Uh, for GS and uh, so uh, so so that is what you read NCRTs you uh, in the first reading you may not actually understand what is relevant and what is not and then in the second reading or even the third reading you underline the the important part and then you borrow it in your notebook uh, as as a part of your notes and then you you keep it uh, you keep reading it again and again so in a nutshell NCRTs are are very very important should be the basis. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, on Yes. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, I'm Tarun, and I have a question for you. Since you are working on a private sector, uh, I'm also a working professional, and I wanted to understand more about your time management. I mean, how that time management is something that we can go through and how we can improvise. Uh, especially uh, since you are, you told you are creating a repository of certain important facts, I too thought of creating a repository in a Google Sheets of some important reports or facts to that matter of fact, where we can uh, use it uh, or, or both with respect to quotes or anything uh, that we can directly use it in our main answer writing. So uh, since that was, I found that to be very time consuming uh, because we have to uh, pick and choose uh, facts from various places and consolidate that un under one source. So that I found that to be time consuming. Since I'm also a working professional, I wanted to understand how you manage time and uh, overcome this problem. Okay. So when I was uh, not on leave, uh, when I was uh, working, I would actually utilize uh, the evening time uh, because I was a consultant. I could actually uh, uh, de design my own uh, work schedule a, a day when I want to start work and when I want to end. So I would actually utilize evenings well. Uh, I, I would study, say, starting 9 p.m. till maybe 1.30 or 2 p.m. Uh, I mean, it's not mechanical, not possible every day, but I would try. And uh, and, and that is also because uh, the, the, the way uh, or, or the uh, my work allowed me to uh, wake up late and then start uh, day a little late, say, by 11. So I could do it. Weekends I would uh, dedicate fully uh, towards preparation, except for recreation, family, and uh, close friends. And social media I would limit or 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 uh, stay away. Uh, that that is how I could uh, manage time. But when uh, prelims were approaching, I I actually uh, went on leave for I think seven days or ten days. And when mains were approaching, uh, I went on leave for uh, for around, I think, 40 days. So that, that was my first attempt in 2019 when I was uh, working in uh, corporate sector. Uh, I think that is uh, uh, 
that, that is what your question was about. And the second part, uh, repository. Uh, yes, you should do it. Uh, however, uh, it is not very, very time consuming because in the previous question, I, I told that, okay, uh, from newspaper, if you find this to be important, just uh, copy and paste it in your Evernote or, or in your Google Keep Note or in your notebook. I mean, the whatever way you, you prefer. Uh, and there are many toppers who have uploaded their repositories. I have also, I think, shared uh, mine with Sir and, and will do it again if needed. Uh, I have certain friends who have their own channels and they have also shared their repository. So, uh, as a good news, you need not start everything from scratch. There are things available and I think you, you can, you, you need to just build upon that. Hi, sir. I'm Sridhar. My uh, simple question is that what is the difficulties faced while preparing PSR rather than that, rather than that you said that time consuming time part which you handled very well rather than that, what, what, what difficulty you faced while uh, writing the answers uh, in main, like, uh, like uh, mains writing in PSR, what main thing, what you self evaluated uh, while writing the answers for your PSR? So firstly, uh, I'll answer the difficulties part and the evaluation part I'll, uh, I'll answer. So uh, not uh, a difficulty only while writing answers, but uh, a general difficulty which I faced was the syllabus feels uh, intimidating. Uh, as a matter of fact, you start uh, reading paper one part A and it feels like it is never ending. And, and then you wonder, I mean, if I am yet to finish paper 1A, I mean, when do I do paper 1B, paper 2A, 2B? So it appears to be intimidating. By the time you would have finished paper 1A, you would have come across, I think, say 300, 400 names uh, and, uh, and say many concepts uh, linked to each and every name. So, and then many people commenting on those names uh, for and against. So, it actually starts feeling as if you need to memorize uh, many things on your mind. Uh, so, so that was my first difficulty. But when you start reading it again and again, when you start taking, say, interest in, in the subject, then, uh, then I think uh, you need not memorize them, but somehow you get acquainted to these names. So that, that was my first difficulty uh, that I faced. And, and I told you how I overcome it, uh, partly overcome it. I totally overcame it when actually I started to uh, to reproducing them in my answers. So for instance, if there is a question on Bentham's uh, utilitarianism, uh, then, then I had uh, read about J.S. Mill's take on utilitarianism. And when I write it, then my uh, memory, my understanding is enhanced. So, so that is how it got enhanced. Uh, that, that was first, uh, I would say, challenge. Second challenge was there is actually uh, a, a misnomer or a, or, a, or, or an assumption that you need to quote a lot of scholars in each and every answer. Uh, and then that becomes a challenge, uh, an artificial challenge that how do I memorize uh, so many scholars for... Uh, for all these topics and, and how do I even reproduce them? There is a time crunch, there is a space crunch because you, you have given an answer date and you need to uh, write in that space, but you also need to do justice to what is being asked. So gradually you would realize that uh, quoting scholars is not the thing. In fact, it is not even that important. Uh, answering the question is very, very important. If you have a scholar pertinent to your idea, to, to the question, then you quote him or her. Otherwise, you simply skip and you just write your own understanding of the question. Uh, so, so that was the second challenge uh, uh, that I overcame uh, or, or rather I faced. Uh, but, but yes, I'll give a disclaimer here. When I say scholars, I mean co commentators. If, uh, if say Aristotle is commenting on Plato uh, or rather uh, if... Uh, if I am, if somebody is commenting on hopes or Leviathan, then, then he or she is not a commentator. I mean, that is the basic, uh, uh, I would say, uh, premise of his idea. And, and you need to 
port the guys who were for and against. So there, there are certain things you need to, uh, I mean, mandatorily write in your answers. And there are certain, I would say, commentators, which are colloquially called scholars. So, so that, that was the uh, challenge. And then uh, I also discussed this with Sir and, and my uh, friends. And then I came to a conclusion that this is actually an artificial challenge. I'll just write what I know, not, uh, not run behind scholars. In terms of timings, I I never faced an issue because I would write all my tests with uh, my watch uh, on. So I had this, that practice of uh, finishing things on time. So I, I broadly remember these challenges. If you have something uh, specific, then I'll be happy to answer. Okay, next question. Uh, hi, sir. This is Ruben. So hi. I have a question regarding I have a question regarding how did you take notes and uh, when did you start taking when did you start take notes uh, at which time you started mm, and you can and you say with the examples as well as how many revisions did you how many times do you revise the notes or updated the notes so yeah that's in terms of, sorry uh, you were saying something no, regarding notes making and how to make use of the note, how to yeah. revise the notes. Yes. So uh, the uh, GS notes, uh, I prepared them uh, uh, during my first attempt, uh, first attempt itself uh, by referring NCRTs, and uh, so that that was the first lot of uh, notes. I could do it, I think, after during my third reading of NCRTs because. During the first reading, I could not understand many things. Uh, in the second reading, I could just uh, make sense out of those things. And in the third reading, after, uh, say, uh, doing uh, uh, a mapping with, say, some questions and uh, the notes, uh, roughly I could understand that this is important. And then I could uh, write in, I, I wrote it in my notes. So after, say, three or four readings, I prepared my notes. In terms of... Uh, so this was for revision, uh, sorry, this was for GS. In terms of revision, there is no formula how many times I did it or uh, or how many times one should do it. It also depends on whether you are a full-time aspirant or not. But uh, but before means, uh, during the time between prelims and means, I think uh, I, I'll talk about my previous attempt because the memory is stronger with respect to this attempt. So I did it, I think, uh, twice. Uh, I could also do it because my notes uh, were very concise. They fitted. I, I just had to read the three, say, uh, 200 page notebooks and that also not uh, fully, I would say, uh, written. Uh, and, and that's why I could do it twice. And uh, in terms of PSIR, it was a little bit uh, difficult because it was uh, more difficult for me to understand and realize what to uh, put put in my notebook and what not to put. And as a disclaimer, I told you that I was actually using my brother's notes and he had been to Delhi to some coaching and, and I was reading his notes. Uh, so I was preparing micro notes based on uh, his notes. So again, here I don't have a formula as to how many times you should revise, but I think it is also upon your uh, comfort. You feel at times, okay, that you are actually missing the link between uh, this concept uh, then I think it's a time to go back to, to your notes. Uh, but yes, uh, before between prelims and mains, you should do it at least twice or thrice. Okay, we'll take one last question. Hi, yes. hey, sir. I am Gona Silan. So you said uh, there are some basic things which we learn from staffs and coaching centers, and there are things we have to build by ourselves. Yes. So is there a classification where um, certain things which we, which are essential from the staff for the subject which we have to learn from them so that it will be uh, very much easier and which are the things we can take care by ourselves and we have to build by ourselves. It's essential for the start people. you said I, I just missed the first part. Um, so there there is some uh, basic things which um, is available like um, the basics which we build from um, the coaching centers or, um, you know, the base marks you got, like 245, you said, these are the uh, from the basic, uh, which yes, we learned yes, from yes, all this. Yes, 
So what's that and what's the build up things which you did? Yes, yes, yes. So uh, I, uh, I mean, so I told you that apart from uh, using ready-made notes and ready-made scholars, I did uh, research on my own. Uh, for for instance, I quoted something, some examples. If if it is about complex interdependence, then uh, I discussed the idea with Sir. He gave certain pointers. Then I went to the Wikipedia page to understand what is complex interdependence. Then he grew notes. Uh, for example, if uh, there is a question or uh, on or or if I want to understand Plato's uh, that allegory of cave, then then there is uh, the Stanford Encyclopedia. I went there. For uh, and and uh, for instance, uh, John Locke's idea of uh, three three wings of government. Then these ideas also uh, get refined when you go to Ignu or or such uh, uh, source. So so you can do it. Uh, in terms of quotes, uh, you can make extensive use of uh, YouTube for your IR part and also for your paper one uh, part two because uh, I would only read about certain uh, scholars which which are easily available in newspapers but when i went to youtube i did my own research i i kept uh, following uh, certain us uh, uh, navy veterans army veterans uh, scholars such as mia Scheimer, john walt uh, sorry stephen walt and then i used to follow them on each and every topic and then via them you get more recommendations on youtube and i, I got recommended to more scholars so when you build such originality uh, I think then then you can say uh, do a jump even in GS uh, because of original examples because of doing research because of quoting committees uh, cases extensively I could reach 463 in GS so originality help and lastly uh, I could give a lot of credit to sir also because uh, he uh, actually uh, uh, guided us uh, and, and he gave us a clue on how to go about it because he gave a lot of pointers on on say Plato, Mills, IR part, uh, paper 2A part, and also certain scholars. And then we were like, okay, I mean, if uh, this is available, uh, then then why not build upon this? So this, you should do it on your own, uh, not spoon feeding. And I think this originality is, uh, is, is something which would make your paper stand out from rest of the papers for uh, the evaluator as well, and uh, would actually help you. I mean, I, I'm an example of that. Any more questions? Okay, Samir, very thank you for uh, sharing your experience. Uh, yes, sir. One, one more question. Sir, can I ask uh, one more question, question is there, please. One minute. One more uh, people. Sir. Yes. Uh, sir, this is Lohit Sai from uh, Chennai, sir. Hi, Lohit. Uh, Sorry, I saw your question was there uh, in chat. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, sir, can you explain uh, or uh, tell me like uh, popular mistakes uh, which aspirants uh, usually do? and uh, which uh, we can actually avoid so that uh, our marks as well as uh, our time gets saved. Sir. Yes. So, I'm going to do an extempore because I don't have uh, really, I mean, this is a nice question. I don't have list of mistakes on my mind. But firstly, I'll talk about PSIR. The foremost mistake is running behind scholars, quoting what you know, writing what you know, rather than what is being asked. So you just decipher the question, break it down into two or three or four pieces, and then you answer it. If you find a scholar, uh, well and good. Scholar, I mean commentator. So uh, then well and good. Otherwise, just skip. You write what you know, uh, explain the concept in PSIR language, and no compromise with uh, the, I would say, veterans such as uh, Mills, uh, Aristotle, Plato, and so on. I mean, uh, when I say scholars, I don't mean them. I mean, they are the concepts. So for, this is one thing. Second, in PSIR, you have a variety. Uh, say 10 marker questions, uh, 15 marker questions, and 20 marker questions. And then you also have a choice. So uh, all this actually gives you a nice way to manage your time. But I have seen, uh, I mean, a hearsay and also observation. Many people are not able to finish their paper on time. If you are not able to finish, uh, say, your paper on time, you are giving a head start to your opponent, I mean, an hypothetical opponent, by, say, 20 marks. Because you are not attempting it. Secondly, uh, also your last question, which you would be finishing, uh, would be say half baked. So you are actually giving a head start of not 20 marks, but of say maybe 35 marks or 40 marks. So this is uh, the second, uh, I would say, uh, uh, mistake which you should avoid by practice, practice. 
Uh, third, not going through PYQs and just uh, taking random questions. Uh, this is also a mistake. I mean, you should know what is being asked rather than what is uh, everything what is available under the sun. And uh, fourthly, I would I won't say handwriting, but the presentation part. Even my handwriting is not not very good. But uh, the presentation part, I mean, proper paragraphs, uh, wherever necessary, at least in 10 marker questions, some points, uh, writing in points, bullets, uh, some diagrams. Uh, sir is very, very good uh, uh, with uh, diagrams and, and, and he can really guide you where to use them, where not to use them. So, so these are, um, uh, and, and yes, last one, what to choose and what to let go in terms of your choices. So. Uh, if, if you out of the three questions, if you know two and not the third one, then do you really skip them or you just attempt uh, the next chunk of questions, three questions, but you know all of them in a mediocre manner. So why write three in a mediocre rather, rather than that, write two questions well and uh, the third question in a mediocre manner. So uh, choices as well. In GS, uh, the presentation part is uh, is actually a mistake. Uh, you should make your answers presentable, very easily readable to the evaluator. And actually that creates the difference because in my say second attempt also, first attempt, I think I got 401. Second, I think I got 411. Uh, and third one, I got 463 in GS, 463. So in, in my all three attempts, I would, what if, if you ask me what I did, so my notes, the NCRT notes, the basic remain the same, but I just improved presentation in every attempt my statistics committee uh, case recommendations examples uh, in in every attempt so the presentation in gs is important and yes finishing paper on time uh, not hurrying up not panicking is also important is a mistake which uh, many do and you should actually do a practice to avoid to, to avoid it okay any more questions okay samir very thank you on behalf of myself and my students We'll make use of your uh, insights. Okay. So thank very thank you, Sam. Thank uh, you yes. to you. Uh, you have been uh, a part of, you played a part in my success. So thanks to you as well. And thank you for uh, giving this opportunity. Oh, okay. Thank you. And all the best to you. Thank students. you. Uh, yes. Thank you, Sam. Uh. I'll take another five or ten minutes and then we'll conclude. Okay. So strategy for preparation. I think you got some idea here and at least uh, at least some ideas, I think. Okay. So this guy is a very, um, I mean, um, uh, a, a, a person with a lot of composure. Okay. That means uh, when he was talking to me, by the itself, the people here, we decided that he's a sure shot. So because his attitude is like that, Attitude means that civil service uh, for that certain attitude is required. No, he got that particular attitude. Okay, and then he's a hard worker, and and what finally I am telling from what he have discussed in the last uh, uh, fifty minutes is, see, self preparation is very important. More than classes, notes, uh, other materials. So you have you have to do your own research. So what I'm telling is for the strategy of preparation, three levels are there like that I think. Two levels, we will have it together. The third level, you have to do it on your own. So that only will make you to enter into the final list. So, so the, I was talking about this only uh, before um, Samir was discussing. Okay. So same thing only he is also telling. So self preparation is very important. So part one, what we will do is in level one, we will we will build the foundation. We'll get to know about all the concepts. Try to present that particular concept with uh, uh, simplicity and clarity. So that part we will do it. Level number two, what we will do is we'll go for question answer discussion, POIQ based discussion. We'll have a test orientation class. And while writing the revision test, you partly get input from me and partly you put your own effort and then write the revision test and then uh, make the subject stronger. After that, you are on your own. Level three, you do some self research. Okay, so you have to improvise it. You have to think and improvise it and then you have to move forward. So this is very, very important. Okay. So that part will be easy if you are if you are doing the part one, that means level one first. 
Level one should be hundred percent. Hundred percent, you are doing it well, man. Level two will be easier. So in that part also, we are, I am available. We can do it. Level three, I, when you are on your own, it won't take much time. Every chapter one day, if you take means within forty days, forty chapters are over. One and a half months, you can complete the entire syllabus, and you can be ready for the full test. So like that, we will move forward. Okay, so level one, I will help you. So uh, in level one, what we will do is we will discuss the a particular topic in the class. Uh, uh, I will explain the concept. Even I will give you the simple crux, the note notes crux. I will give you line by line. We will you you have to write it line by line. Uh, in between the lines, I will be explaining that slowly. We will build. We will take time, enough time, and then slowly we will build it. No need to rush. And note that we have classes only on Saturday and Sunday. So you have the five full days or that. In five full days, you can you can you have to complete the entire topic within the five days. Next is Saturday, Sunday. Fresh topic will be there. So a new topic, new thinker, new idea will be there. So like that, slow and steady. If we move forward, means we can complete the entire syllabus level. During the revision time, we will have a quick uh, pre previous year question revisions, uh, dis uh, discussions, analysis. How questions are there? What you have to answer? Like that, a little analytical questions we will touch it. One is first level. The class test daily. I said no. So that will be basic level. Simple question only. I will ask you uh, regarding your uh, checking your concept to clarity. Once you are good with the concept clarity, we can go for the applied part during the second level preparation revision time. Once you are good in clarity and the anal analytical part, third part, you can you can bring your own insight, your own ideas after doing some research. While writing the full test, you can do that. So class class test level one, revision test level two. So two full test one full test is done. No? So before that, you do your own research and write the full test. We have to complete everything before January end. Because February, at least from February one, you have to concentrate on preliminary. Okay, preliminary means preliminary only GS. So side by side, while you are preparing for PSAR, you ensure that you are very good in certain subjects like polity, not very good. You complete the subject polity, modern India, bilateral relation, India and the world, and the international economics. These four subjects, ideologies. You have to do it. Otherwise, no use in uh, attending the class. Okay, so I will help you in the basic level. So uh, the third level, what you can do is you have to prepare on your own. So after preliminary, you can join some test series wherever uh, it is possible. You just join it and then just improve your answers. Next year, you have only very less time to uh, prepare between preliminary and mains. So put a reverse timetable. So September twenty twenty second exam, August twenty two examination is there. One month before that, you have to do the revision. So preliminary until that one month revision that period. How much time it means? Just two months only. The sixty days. In sixty days, what you can prepare? So just now itself plan it. And then preliminary exam uh, May twenty sixth. One month before that, you have to allocate for revision. So February, March, April, three months you can prepare for preliminary only. Um, uh, April, May you have to go for full revision. So until February one only we have time. So during the time you have to prepare in preliminary mains. Uh, inclusively, you have to prepare, particularly in mains point of view, particularly the option, the basic level we have to complete. So, like this, we'll move forward. So, I will I will start a group, okay, a Telegram group, informal group, where we can have discussion also. So, if you put admission, man, they will make you to join in the regular group, okay, for links and all. Okay, so in that informal group, I will put all these slides what we have discussed, and then two. Um. Uh, uh, uh. That means certain uh, materials, handouts. Uh, that also I will put it. And uh, what all the things you have to do before the class, the NCERT book. What all the NCERTs we have to read. So that part also I will update it. So some basic work you you have to do some homework. So that part I will do it. So uh, so just I will give you my number. You just send me a message in Telegram. I will I will attach your. I mean I will send you the link. You just join. So till the class starts, you will have that particular group very active. After that, automatically Saturday, Sunday, uh, first class will be on seventh Sunday. On the day you take one class. Other people who are even who are in dilemma whether the subject is good or not. What I'm telling is, you attend two three classes, you'll get an understanding. Uh, you read the NCERT books, you'll get an understanding. Uh, take the syllabus and the previous year question, and then check the question. You may not know it well, but whether the question you can do something, you can you can interpret it. Uh, uh, that part you just to check it. The concepts you may not know it, but question on seeing the question you can say no. This question is all difficult to handle. Even I know the concept like that you can understand. No, like that just to check it. So we will uh, we'll work it out. Okay, and then the people who are coming here to the class, who are uh, enrolling in 
offline even we can have a daily answer writing question because online people i can't do it online people the regular test only the 50 class test minimum 50 test i said no that we will have revision test only will have for other people to improve your answer writing because like he said you know after knowing the idea to put it in writing uh, he said no one big challenge was that to to address that particular challenge daily we will write one one question the people who are coming offline only can do it because uh, i will be coming here for bilateral class no you can directly bring the paper uh, within two minutes i can correct it and give you so uh, you will you will get used to uh, writing if you know that means you can bring it to the paper that uh, for that purpose it is not for exam purpose i know the topic i have to put it in paper means so people will feel shy even for asking questions people are feeling very shy even when you are putting your question what you people are doing is you are not putting the question sharply so what, what i'm telling you this reflects we have a lot of ideas but it is not coming into action means we have to train it that's all okay it's everybody have the problem i even myself is having the problem okay so what i'm telling is you have to train your mind so this is what i know means this is see if you write means other people should understand it precisely you should not ask the question very long or you should not explain any concept too much longer that is not because they will lose the patience if i if i want to explain you something means very crisply simply i have to put it before you then people will understand in the name of giving too much explanation i am taking 3 days uh, i am taking class on the small topic means what will happen people will not get that particular thing okay so precisely you have to do it enough words we have to use it no excess words no uh, uh, that means less words optimum 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 the, the 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 thing what you are coming to say you should be very clear it should be very simple also people can ask simple uh, write simple answers those people know the topic very well those people only can write simple answers if your answers are complicated complicated means your ideas are also complicated this is the idea so this is the thing what i wanted to do so this will come in practice to put that into practice what we'll do is uh, uh, we will have uh, some hundred at least uh, so we have we will be having uh, next six months we have class okay i will make ready some 120 to 150 questions and then key also i will make it ready so on self propulsion mode what you have to do you have to come i will not ask you where is the question today and all i will put the questions answer also will be available once you bring your answer i will correct it i will send you that answer that that particular answer only just tell me the question number i will send you that answer so after writing the question get evaluated from me and check with the key whether everything is going in line uh, so initially it won't go well Okay, but after some time, automatically, so for whatever question they are asking, this is what I have to do. So that part, when you are clear, means the remaining part is just knowing that particular concept only. That we will do it in the class. Okay, only for the people who are uh, offline only, I can do it. Online people, I can't help. It will be difficult. Okay, so test and all will be there. 50, every class will start with the test. So every topic, one day class means that one day class, next uh, class, it will be, there will be a test. Like that, we will move forward. Okay. So, and then you have to note that uh, material I am going to give you. Simple, basic material I will give. And even I can also provide you some question and answers also, based on previous years. That key I said, no. So, so all these things combined together, you will get the answer for almost all questions comprehensively. So, like this, we will move on. And then again, you have to make notes. Somebody asked, no, regarding making notes. So, what I am telling is, you have to make at least three, three levels of notes again. First, to take notes from the class, the, the gist. After that, read a material, the material I'm giving you or any reference material. The material I'm giving you itself is enough, actually. If you want to, if you are not satisfied, means you can, satisfied means you want more, means you can refer something. So class notes plus the material, the material what you are reading, the books or material, uh, Shankar is material. So uh, along with that, what you do is you, uh, you uh, improve your uh, notes. That notes will be the detailed notes. Okay, so normally I'm giving in class a three, three page notes means that three page notes along with the reference material, you have to make it into a uh, eight page or 10 page notes. And after that, what you have to do is you have to concise the notes next round. 10 page, you have to bring it into again four page and again four page into a single page. You have to make your notes very concise. See, directly you should not write it in a, a small precise manner. First class notes, number one, level number one. Level number two, class notes, Plus reference material, some book or material we read, no? Uh, you combine this two and then you take a detailed notes. The level two is detailed notes. Class plus reference material. And third level, what you do is you reduce the notes into half. 
ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ బికాస్ యూ రైట్ వాట్ ఆల్ యూ రీడ్ ఇన్ దట్ ఇన్ దట్ ఇన్ దట్ డీటెయిల్ నోట్స్ ఆల్ ది థింగ్స్ మే నాట్ బి రెక్వైర్డ్ అండ్ వెన్ ద థర్డ్ రౌండ్ వెన్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ యూ యూ టేక్ నోట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ డీటెయిల్డ్ నోట్స్ ఓన్లీ ద రెక్వైర్డ్ నోట్స్ దట్ విల్ బి ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ద డీటెయిల్డ్ నోట్స్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ వాట్ యూ డూస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు కన్సాలిడేట్ హౌ టు కన్సాలిడేట్ మీన్స్ బ్రింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇన్ వన్ పేజ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ so just for understanding i am doing it so this is plato so plato in reference material it is more than 50 pages 50 pages are there the 50 page notes you have to note that in class i will be giving it you in uh, some uh, seven or eight pages and after the detailed notes what you do is the 50 notes plus class notes should be in some around 20 pages and then 20 page have to be reduced again back to five five pages and then finally into one page this is the content fine in one page this is the content this is what plato is telling so plato means one page bring all the chapters and ideas in one simple page and frequently uh, you go through that people will find difficulty hundreds of thinkers are there how to remember again and again go through go through means page reading daily do it frequently do it when you are doing it so at least 100 times you have to do it before the exam uh, before september 2022 25 when you are doing it means when they are asking a question means for this particular idea and thinker which thinker comment he said no he said something about commentators scholars and all that come particularly commentators which are, see for example you are bringing plato means uh, for plato who are all the thinkers who can support plato who can oppose plato like that all you will get an idea you yourself will get an idea in anyway i will tell you that in the class also but you yourself will get an idea the comparing contrasting criticizing appraisal commenting okay criticizing etc everything you can do it on your own when you bring everything in one page plato means one page notes only actually but uh, initially we have to read at least the 40 pages literally 40 page notes you have to read it from the material class means at least 10 pages will be there so make a 20 page note and then reduce it into half and then reduce into one page when you can when you come to this you will be very clear in the topic after that just the uh, 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 comment only you have to bring your own idea if any other topic is there means which you can connect with the current affairs or india newspaper means just to do it and get the maximum marks and then move forward that's all okay so one by one we will do it so level one and level two i will be with you level three you have to do it on your own this the self self preparation you have to do it then only you can be in the list okay so so uh, so uh, the level one level two also you can do it on your so like he said but it will take a lot of time which part we have to concentrate to understand it it will take years okay so the class will help you to understand the basics from there you have to develop the building story stories means one first floor sign for under quickly you can do it but the foundation is important so slow and steadily we'll do the foundation so three levels of uh, preparation you have to do it three levels of notes also you have to do it then only you'll be ready okay and whenever you find any keyword means you write it in the last thinkers what he said write it in the last uh, page of the note topic wise for this particular topic which thinkers and all you have to quote which quote and all you have to use it which criticism who can be used to criticize this particular idea so that and all you have it separately separate separate note and a newspaper reading is also very important okay so center page left to two columns will be there no put a separate note from at least from july first from tomorrow and then start uh, doing it all political news also do it first you start doing it you bring it to me i will tell you uh how to uh, utilize that and after um, after some 20 days the, uh, after a month you yourself can manage after that uh, help is not required when you are reading a topic where we can use this you can understand so using the syllabus gs syllabus as well as psr syllabus uh, you, you read a topic this topic can be used in in uh, paper 2 uh, uh, chapter 5 for realism for uh, idealism or this can be used for uh, bilateral relation this can be used for economics gs gs first paper this can be like that you you that itself in the left side you mark it in the margin put a margin and then write it the left side of margin you just mark it gs2 chapter 5 this topic gs1 or psar chapter 5 psar the 25th chapter or 15th chapter like that you just write it so when you are revising for the final examination gs1 means where and all you have written gs1 just uh, go through that particular thing along write it linearly so where and all gs2 means where and all you are putting the index gs2 just to read the gs2 uh, current affairs alone and then go to the examination so notes making also will be there and and also see two value addition i am going to give in the class one is the daily answer writing 
daily you have to do it on your own only i won't ask you have to write it and bring it i will give you the list of questions when you come with my question ones i will say, give you the answer or i will show you my answer the, the key what i have prepared that you will do it and then what also we also will do it every see we are having weekend class only why can't we consolidate the entire current affairs in the weekend class we come some like extra means even you people can take the initiative and one student can do it that also we can do it i also will uh, contribute on my side like that also we can do it you you have to come and uh, contact me uh, voluntarily so this uh, this this week i will consolidate this uh, this week like that you comment that also we can do it okay half an hour if the class starts by 9 means we can start by 8:30 and then we can do it 8:30 you can come here and then you can start writing the test so like that we can do some uh, value additions okay it will be useful and if everybody got involved means uh, the class will be live you have to ask question interact question when you ask question means even in the spot itself you have to note that some new idea will come about that particular thing i will get a new insight immediately i will connect it only when you interact it will be possible no need to be very shy okay just ask a question so this see you are going to be my student till till our life end once once you come to me after that you are my student only okay so so uh, what are so if you are going to win means i will be happy if you are if you are if you are, if you are facing some facing some problem means it it is going to be my problem okay i am with you only okay so this class psr class uh, you have to note that conveniently uh, that means according to our convenience that is your convenience and my convenience we are going to have the class and another thing is we are trying to bring lot of things into the class okay so at least one month we can we have to have week days class also then only it will be easy okay convenient time maybe so uh, uh, this student is uh, is working so we can have it in the evening after 6 this is the only way 6 to 8 or 6:30 to 8:30 not beyond 8:30 it is impossible maximum up to 6:30 to 8:30 we can do it okay one month we have to go like that then only we can do the revision orientation classes and all otherwise it will be difficult saturday sunday alone we are taking the class men see we have four hours we can take the class that is not a problem but one day i am giving i am dumping everything men what is the use in that you people may not be able to follow one day one idea men it will be easy it will be comfortable so what i have to do is i have to go for some core area and all, on the same day i have to take also some uh, uh, some area from the periphery that means the gs common uh, topics and all so that no much uh, effort will be used to understand that one core idea plato means morning i have to take plato so at least over half an hour 45 minutes we have to discuss some easy topic gs based topics then only we can complete the syllabus in time so there is no meaning in extending the class after january before that itself we have to finish it big day class also will be very uh, what is a exhaustive because already one day or two, one class or two classes will be attending one more class i am having in the evening means it will be difficult okay so 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 just i'm i'm putting this to you so you wanted that extra orientation and all these things means then we have to go for one month so the, the, so because uh, this year i am going to uh, last two months um i i have i have, I have included lot of uh, what is it uh, that means lot of uh, new um, what is it it's a fresh material fresh preparation actually or simply i can say i have i, I that means I, that been two months before now means i have i have I, i am updated actually okay i am completely updated so already we have some basic things the updated things also you, if i have to make that particular thing benefit to humans then it will take some time so you should be flexible so weekdays uh, weekend 8:30 to 1:30 we'll have class okay 8 or 1 not continuous class the current affairs discussion test plus class core area one periphery area so like that we will have a blend okay so that class will not go monotonous and then um, uh, daily answer writing also will be there test orientation also we will have it okay the daily answer writing question is only meant for this people who are that i will post the question you have to take care of yourself the online people because no other way is there okay so whenever i am here you just, so whenever bilateral class is there i will be here uh, after the class you come and meet me after the class no need to check or you want means you want me means just to put a message in telegram i will tell you when i will be available because i don't have a seat i won't be here uh, during the office hours only when i am having class i will be here or my house is very near only 5 minutes just 5 minutes only okay if you want to meet me means just to tell me just 30 minutes before so i will be available mostly 
or a day before itself you tell me sir i want to meet you personally for this this things to discuss this okay next day i'll tell you come this time and we can meet it so according to your own convenience and my convenience we can we can we will be flexible okay any any questions are there to me people online if there is any question means you can ask me so test 50 test yes ha <laughs> no so you're asking how to do that okay i nice. see what i'm telling is you just stick to the classes alone okay international affairs you can cover it from day one itself okay because reading the international affairs news is not a tough work. but some background news you may not uh, understand but once i'm coming to your classes for gs classes that problem also will be sorted out the background news and the, what is happening now that part also will be okay so uh, what i'm telling is uh, it will take some time okay so to completely utilize the newspaper for gs and the psr it will take it may take some time but uh, but we have to take start everything with one step only so you just stick with the class and come along with the class what all you can prepare on that particular week you, you uh, current affairs you prepare and come saturday uh, uh, one day saturday we can we can prepare i mean we can discuss the current affairs saturday first session current affairs and then uh, test also like that we will do it so one by one you you will get used to that no no problem you will get used to that so one one handle pano see there is a big problem means in college you might have read break it into components and then handle one by one this is the only way okay that we can do it is not a big problem around some 50 students will be there so easily you can reach it's not too much 200 no not like that on 50 students will be there in an average easily you can handle okay so uh, see whatever you hear whatever you uh, listen whatever you read you take notes everything should be in your own handwriting in the note because notes only will be easy for revision and then to discuss so because you only have wrote it no you will know what is that but frequent revision is also important revise your notes discuss with your friends and then only you will get to know what you have written continuously you are taking notes for a long time and after that it will get accumulated like this you will not know whether it is it will be in your handwriting but you will not know that you only wrote it or not you will get a doubt so whatever you hear in the class or in the tv or in the newspaper or from your friends put it in writing yes okay 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 how this is going ah so thing is in upsc you have all this all the subjects what is in psr is in upsc that means in gs in gs okay so you can't skip it okay so you can't avoid it that's what i am you can't avoid it so only that 15 chapters only you are going to read it in political sense point of view that too will be useful for your essay and ethics also another thing is see basically i am an it guy and i am a lawyer i am taking political sense i don't have any qualification regarding political sense, except that i prepared for the examination and then the thing is uh, i'm get used to that because again again you have to see it and literally 98% of the students i am telling 98 not not 90 98% of the students they are not from political sense background they are from variety of background majority of them will be engineers because in india and tamil nadu first we become engineers and then we will try to find out which uh, which uh, job which uh, which field we wanted to choose this is what we people do so there is no relevancy upsc also what they are doing all they need is just a degree okay if you are a, if you are a degree holder means you are eligible for a collector that's all that means if you clear the examination so like that only it is going to be there. everything is going to be new to you so no problem is there so the subject is scientific what is the problem in that that's why i said scientific part the static part is also there dynamic scientific part also is there in our subject so for certain subjects are there just people have to go mug up and then write it like that also certain subjects are there 
but uh, they these people will struggle in gs so we have to reduce our content but we have to enhance our depth we have to read a little deeper so then only you will get that inside you can prepare on your own and then make the, the the best score okay so fashion technology information technology nanotechnology chemical technology and all is not a matter just to st stick with the class if you can see so what i'm telling is the first topic plato we are going to take that is going to be the toughest topic in the syllabus just attend the class if you can handle plato means you can handle anybody that's all you can handle any chapter plato is going to be complex but uh, i am going to start with the plato only but very interesting interesting okay so whether you can understand that i can't reason with that that is the problem that you find it after the class what i'm telling is 100% everybody attend the class on sunday next sunday next sunday only first class is there okay seventh 9 o'clock you come we will we'll complete plato on that day we will get the material also so after the class read the class material and then uh, try to read the reference material and take the detailed notes and then try to write the, the one day per question like that i said no one question one day like that you write that entire week five questions or four questions at least you try to write it next saturday we will have class no so by the time you write the test on plato three questions that is the class test so by the time you will understand whether you are in line but initially writing the answer will be little difficult difficult means you won't be up to the mark what you know you can't bring it in the paper so that part i am telling so for that it needs practice 10 days you have to write question one one question 10 days 11th day will be ready so question is like this means what you have to bring it in that answer so to come into the track it will take four five days that's why i said you daily you take one question write the question or for or even for the online first 10 days i will help you after that you, you have to come here enroll as a offline student and then do it here uh, daily uh, at least uh, weekly at least two three times you meet me so then only uh, you you have to be keep in touch with me then only i will know your progress i am available okay so just to send a message in telegram i will tell you when when where when i will be available we can we can we can we can have the interaction okay so make you so you have to make you sort if you feel shy means then it is up to you you want to learn anything okay the hesitation and the fear these are all the two worst things in the world two worst enemies of human progress human progress you wanted to move forward means don't hesitate don't fear tappu seyadam bayapadnu okay only to do wrong only you have to hesitate and fear to know things to get updated to improve to develop yourself don't hesitate wrong a keta enna enna theriya podu artha naan apdi dhaan kevalama ketirpen question ellarume apdi dhaan irukku so no big problem is that just to come and ask me meet me so i will be available any time okay so hesitate panama just to fear don't try it fear means i am telling fear for trying it na idu thappa pannunga thappa panninga tha adutha vadi adu thappa panna matam do all the wrong now here here itself examination you will be near perfect and perfection don't go for perfection also adu or periya adu or attitude problem adu result is failure only i will i will tell you 100% you aim means it will be a failure for this examination you have to know that you have to take 60% of the marks that's all okay you, uh, you you prepare for 80% remaining 20% you try to make up finally 60% mark get into the service that's all this is the thing okay no need to be a specialist district collector you have to know this guy is i uh, first is a nit guy then iim it, he have taken political science and topped the chart okay he work panite padichirukkar 42nd rank gs la all india second uh, 263 mark uh he did not spend much time this is what we, we we learned from him okay but he whenever he worked he worked very sincerely quality time he he did it 10 manaram 27 manaram sonna la 24 hours tha irukum packet ana 27 hours prepare panna nu solluvan daily okay stupid answer 27 hours and all not required for a day because it is not there so that is the fact for 3 hours quality preparation plus 2 more hours so to prepare for the 3 hours you have to do some supplementary work no 5 hours so consistently 5 hours daily you can do it means you can crack any exam not only upsc in the exam chinese like eta kuda edalam 5 hours you have to prepare from now easily we can do it okay so test in the, this year test question answer discussion is the extra addition 
and the uh, uh, i mean updated material updated preparation is there no so extra things are going to be there classes may extend if, if you are going for a discussion for example when you are discussing about uh, equality means immediately one student will raise a issue then i have to respond another guy will raise another issue whenever we are taking this feminist issue uh, always arguments will be there first it should be a discussion rather than an argument okay feminist rights means so argument with a discussion it will it should not become an argument again uh, uh, new new insights will come and every time i learn lot of things from the students also because everybody think in a different different way you know that spark only i am going to give and the spark is only what you need this is my idea remaining things you are on your own engine start pani thali uttona appra neenga odi rendu da remaining things you have to do it so class attend panna ellam kedachiru nanichittu vandinga em andu podu appadi illa kedaya you have to prepare on your own that you can do it so in the class the foundation the basics we will do it okay so any time you can call me if i am not taking the phone means maybe i may be in the class that's the point okay so you send a message in telegram i will i will reply okay so any other question is there online people uh -huh. quickly i will respond பொலிட்டிகல் சயின்ஸ் particularly what i am telling is i am recommending you to start with the contemporary world politics contemporary indian politics that that book you read no don't go for the concept book indian political theory no don't touch that 11th 12th contemporary world politics contemporary indian politics that two books is enough for our covering our syllabus okay so that is history part no so that part you can read it on your own whenever you find difficulty bore adikida just read it like a story you can read it contemporary world politics book two volumes will be there contemporary indian history also will be there okay so that is politics that is india after independence now after the world war like that uh, certain topics will be there that you read it and if you are bored means you can even re uh, read a lot lot of things on world uh, world wars uh, cold war like that and all if you find any entertainments you can read it l l like a fun just to, to enjoy see a lot of videos in that you, th that and all will help us okay i will uh, put this uh, all the list okay in the group telegram group send me a message to my telegram id i will i will uh, i will uh, see i will put my number here okay 801513535359 so 801513535359 send a message psr first batch like that you send me so i will respond same day i will respond okay okay so that you do it and then i am uh, struck with choosing pubad and psr i found a common interest in both okay i uh, looked at the pvsr question in psr i was able to collect some answers on my own but uh, comparatively i can't with the pubad question mostly i but okay uh, becoming my understanding okay okay so student who is uh, having dilemma with pubad and psr see psr is lively pubad is a complete theory theory concepts only okay um if you find fun in newspaper reading and you want more from newspaper current affairs dynamics means then psr is your best subject all i can do is only replicate the idea means ps i mean pubad may be better this is my opinion okay so for regarding pubad the advantage of a pubad you can ask the pubad sir that is public administration sir so psr i am telling is a gs friendly subject no other subject can come near that combined all subjects will not equal to psr subject with respect to overlapping gs so this i will tell you okay and it is a dynamic dynamic part is there so it will be interesting and you have to do that anyway maybe pubad polity alone may cover but in uh, psr polity is there bilateral relation is there international organization is there international economy is there modern india is there so five chapters you will be reading it here so for gs and all separately no need to read or when you are reading in gs means for psr no need to read separately so you can save some time and uh, extend your time on certain topics where you need more clarification so that will be better if you have any doubts you call me after that okay 
we are told that there are separate batch for november sir see all i am telling is don't go for the second batch if you, second batch means people who have not joined the first batch uh, choice is second batch if you start by november means when we will complete the class so this the people who are aiming for 2026 maybe the second batch will be okay and what happens is normally from my experience after january 1 the notification will come after that people will not be ready for mains any main subject gs as well as psr or any option any subject i am telling attendance will go down people will not write the test people will not show interest people will not come to the class then how i how you expect me to teach it so i have to rush and complete as far as possible like that it will go so now we have lot of time now is the time for preparing for mains after january after pongal you have to start preparing for preliminary so now it's now is the best time whatever option you are choosing i am telling you irrespective of psar now is the time to join this is the best time november means november december january so in between rain will be there leaves will be there diwali leave will be there one week pongal one week leave will be there so i you know so classes the continue the continuity of the classes will get affected and the students mentality will not be good if you are not concentrating means teaching also i have to cut short cut short means in the sense uh see so based on your interest only my input will be there otherwise the basic input only i can give so you have to interact the more you interact the more message you will get it see so the this is normal for a feminist topic like if you are initiating a discussion means you will get a big understanding very good understanding okay so first batch is best second batch you have no other option means you can go for second batch initiated c sat classes like uh, like our preliminary preparation so c sat should start by december january as the best you people have to come to me and ask me or ask anybody psr so the, not only just for psr optional paper plus gs gs oda first option adha mudikinu first complete the option you will get an understanding because option subject means the boundary is there easily we can do it gs even after 10 years you are preparing you want to complete the syllabus after 10 years people will share certain topics or that i have to cover adu adukku end kaade kadaiyad can you understand so edu short ah irukko adu panna c sat we can wait we try to change the classes okay c sat yaar join panna venam appo the first batch id mudichona join pannunga appo live ah irukumla 3 months course ah appo 2 months for preparation like that you plan for c sat c sat it's just for qualification nature just to qualify panna podum but you have but but people are getting trouble in that also so you have to be careful okay so three courses at a time means it will be very difficult gs c sat an option very difficult appo eppa pathalum course attend pannite irpinga people will not time to read so gs week days la gs weekend la option week days la 2 hours 3 hours spend for option complete the option now at least the core subjects first we will complete it first four three months the core subjects only we will handle so adikapram the gs parlam kuda actually help is not required so this is what i want you people to ask him where i have to get the help where i can manage myself okay so clean a question podda innum edha solli irupaapla okay so can you understand so certain things help is required for preparing for united nation reforms and all why why, why people don't need any help so google la search panina thousands of informations are there easily we can get it or in a newspaper a day at least one, at least one time in this year regarding united nation reforms one article is going to be there. just read that article we'll get the entire information so can understand so so uh, so where and all we have to put more effort where we have to put effort c sat uh, you come and meet me the people who are who joined the c sat you come and meet me okay so class started it's a gcc sat anybody is preparing for c sat joined c sat when class started last year? last week etna class pay irukku five classes thana ni appo postpone panninga kada illa this see this we will discuss after so what i am telling is this is my uh, recommendation okay stick to gs and option complete the option after that start ca c sat that will be better so how to do it uh, the practical difficulty you, you come to me uh, let us find out a solution this is what i can tell you moonu class ore time la venda so you need time to prepare no you need rest also konja rest irundha dhan padikamudiyum chuma daily 7 days in class padichite irundhonu vechinga it won't work 
கொஞ்சம்ஸ் <laughs> uh mic problem ah uh, i have doubt uh if i write main sentences daily send by telegram can you make correction see i can do it but a lot of people are sending means now the mains students are sending like that the people who are writing for 2024 okay so they are my first priority because they are going to face the exam in the next two months so that's why i said you come directly means correcting the paper means is easy for me see online la thirichi kudna it will be tough okay so anyway we will do it we have the test no test test it it's a see more daily day, every topic will have three question test minimum daily in class the class will start with a test only okay so, so lot of tests are there this uh, i can't give you a guarantee okay it may take time or after doing that only i can come to you like that problems are there i have to, or we will try to make some arrangement we'll see okay so in our in our uh, we need another people means so that is another big problem i have to um, uh, that means uh, so other practical issues will be there why only this why not this like that question will come okay so um, we will see I, i will try to see i am ready to help in every possible way special student light student la kadaya ana actually und how if you are if you are really trying to work hard means i am with you that's all i will give you special emphasis on that it's not that you should be a topper you are struggling means then i am i am for you only i will help media kra vandu end improvement kaavana i won't show interest enala mudila struggle pandringa i will be there you are you are not fail aara mari irukku nu vechinga 40 percentage fail na 40 percentage le struggle pandringa i will help you how to improve 90 la irukinga you have to improvements i will help abadi in the 60 la na abadi and the stage le irukku nu sonninga na i can't do anything so it is based on your response you have to take the initiative if you send means i can't say no but i am telling that in general i am telling no okay can understand neenga vandina na edhume illane solla mudiyad solla mudiyad illa solla how can i tell no or student vandu or doubt kekkranga or answer paper thiruthi kuduka ketanga na am pani kuduka maten epdi solla mudiyum i can't say no one will say like that okay particularly i won't say anything but the initiative is on you okay so so in the daily answer writing question set of questions irukku it is up to you to uh one 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 question at a time means na easily tak tak nu thiriji kudukra or two minutes aagum it won't take much time so like that you do it so on the self paced mode la and the 150 questions are cover pannunga one minimum 120 questions we'll fix it i'll put the 120 questions as a list basic questions na concept clarity ku mattum then a first 25 questions ena topic first uh, five topics ke ulla questions pora adhu mari appo i will update in the main group which you write it on your own அது உங்களோட இனிஷியேட்டிவ் தான் ஆன்ஸ் கொஸ்டினா நான் கொடுத்துறேன் எழுதி கொண்டாடுறது இட் இஸ் அப் டு யூ ஓன்லி ஓகே அண்ட் தென் ஓன்லி வென் யூ கெட் தட் இன்புட் யூ கேன் இம்ப்ரூவ் ஓகே ஸோ டெலிகிராம் குரூப் ஜஸ்ட் யூ சென்ட் அ மெசேஜ் ஐ வில் புட் ஆல் யூ பீப்புள் இன் த டெலிகிராம் குரூப் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் தட் ஃப்ரம் தேர் இஃப் யூ ஹவ் எனி கொஸ்டின் மீன்ஸ் யூ தட் டெலிகிராம் குரூப் வில் பி டூ வே ஓன்லி குட் மார்னிங் சார் குட் நைட் சார்லாம் அனுப்பாதீங்க எதுவும் அனுப்பாதீங்க ஸோ கொஸ்டின் வேணா ஏன்னா எல்லா ஆல் பீப்புள் ஆர் தேர் நோ ரீடிங் இட் so substantial matter means you just put it i will also put only substantial matter okay so that the group lr may read panna summa good morning good evening and the thumbs up ipdi potite irundho nu vechingala and the like adhu mari kuda onnu theriyadhu thani thaniya potinga and the main ana message mela odidu so for that purpose okay or you can ask a question after that after answering it i will delete the question like that i will do it so we'll do something okay so we'll interact so interaction is the important thing to so get the maximum from me you getting na na i will deliver okay so uh, material is ready ana chapter appa pa dhan kudukka mudiyum ena first time ipo dhan print poi varanum so uh, next topics ku first uh, next week you will get a book so that will be enough for next one month one one and a half months so before that the second book will come so like that we will have it so at a time ella book ready illa adavad crude adavad unformatted a irukku format pannina i have to give it in your presentable manner no so that will that will take time so that is going on side by side because all are fresh materials even question answers could are the supplementary use it as a supplementary one 
to supplement the original book supplement means that is only for reference purpose only don't follow it and like a monologue he used the word monologue monologue don't change it as a format no that is completely wrong format means your format is that means you should you should create your own thing okay one idea take one idea from that and then do it the concept test it as it is write it so uh, class test we said no so there you bring some innovation revision test 50% innovation self preparation 100% innovation like that you do it okay any other question is there so i am here for you to help and guide only if you ask means i won't say no okay anala seiya mudiyada kelunga adu mukyam seiya mudiyada kekkadinga okay va so no problem is there you are from any background that is uh, that is uh, immaterial why means because almost all the students here all over india at least all over india edina 90% of the students are fresh to the topic only any subject you are taking whatever subject it is they are fresh only same academic background three people prepare pandrathu sometimes it will be difficult ena adhe 3 years 4 years what we might have done polunga padichama illayo adhe book vechite da nama idu paniyaach same thing ore book vechi panitte da na after that nothing will enter your mind so a filled pot la vande extra milk we can't add okay konja empty pot ah irundha it will be easy fresh mind adha upsc also is looking for that fresh mind only so today i am ready to write any exam today i write the exam means i will clear but they are not allowing me i am uh, my age is gone appo na fresh minds da ungalku venu can you understand fresh minds fresh minds means you have to know that societal situations are there for that only they are giving some age relaxation okay so mind should be fresh to accept idea okay i can take this and then put your uh, your ingredient into that and then give your personal touch okay slowly we will do it three levels preparation yenga na i am telling fundamental level for concept clarity second question uh, concept to questions like that we will move third self completely self preparation bring your own ideas take input from the class notes and then new inputs and then uh, internet and other uh, wherever you hear re- newspaper etc and then you go for the your final format it will take time okay first attempt itself we can do it if you clear preliminary means you will enter into uh, i mean you will get an interview call definitely that is for sure okay definitely you will get an interview call okay so and uh, you know, the final result is also based on the other subjects essay ethics and gs in an average above average manner that is the top as minimum manner. result will come preliminary you have to take care very carefully so regarding preliminary also we will discuss okay so two three times uh, first what we will do is i will i will have an in, individual interaction with you interview one to one interview okay uh, from next week okay daily uh, two three students if we come once daily we can have an inter- inter- i mean we can introduce ourselves okay i will get to know who you are what is your position what what is the thing so in the mid of the course also one more time we will do it like this the progress and during the end of the course also we will do it in between whenever you have time you come and meet me so three at least three one to one interview i will guarantee okay like that we will do it okay so just to inform your friends also uh, uh, and you also form some groups like minded people okay and you have to note that group as end to padikano okay va group as end nam enna panuvom union see, in politics will be reading union uh, workers la takku union join panna enna panna strike adi panni poite strike adiche enak bonus kudu okay va nama group as endana seri ini class cut adipom kalki padam vandirukku povanga amitha bachan enna pandra irundha amitha bachan pandra irundha namak enna avudhu kadaisila alpa you have to go for movie also one day you have to spend the time for that means for your leisure to refresh your mind in between the preparation time in between the you know sir the what is it um lesser time padiya kudadu adu mari pannadinga strong you read it for 5 days and then one day you take the test and next day take rest so like that you do it means it will be fun so next next add the set of topics you, you will, will get ready so gs also gs class notes you just follow class annaniki you have to complete it So this is what you have to do it okay so to we'll, we'll end the session if you have any doubt any queries means so i am i'm today afternoon i am completely free uh, tomorrow so monday monday uh, monday also i am free okay 
just you call me anytime i will take the phone i don't have class tomorrow also you contact me okay so if you want to meet me directly means just to put a message i will tell you uh, when to come when when i will be available we can meet okay material uh, material uh, our shankar is material uh, i myself compile, compiled that material is available reference book if you want it means you can have it but uh, what i am telling is don't buy the books and then decorate your shelf apdiye kadaisi varaikum you maintain it as a new book no don't do that if you buy a book means you have to read it otherwise don't buy a book the cpsc people what they will do is they have a one mania daily they will go to bookshop and then buy a new book new magazine new book appo book full of decorate panni vechirukanga adanal maximum benefit enna theriyuma yara friend vandha adha paatha bayam padum avana intimate pannu intimidate venuma padikiram periya illa adin adha adha kadaisi varaikum adha nammalum padikamaatom avanukku kadaisi varaikum theriyadhu nama chumma vaangi vechirukom nu kaasu dhaan selva agum adanal edhey vaangadhinga okay so you paid the fees material is available so idhu kapram you need something means during the self preparation by the time you can go okay i will i will recommend books books thousands of books is there and then for paper to particularly for the international affairs you have to read in a diversified manner international for indian foreign policy world politics whatever book you have just read it okay you want you want means i will give you a list and book you just buy it and then general reading is also important for upsc preparation in the table la epovume or general reading book not associated with your subject or the text subject for example contemporary world uh, world politics book some book contemporary uh, india after gandhi ramachandra go like that you have you should have a book in your table so over three weeks la the book padichu uh, rotate it give it to somebody like that or at least some 10 20 books you have to read it history book history based non fiction based story book la non fiction biography you can read it indian history american history european history african history okay indian ancient history like that you can read books okay so i am here okay mike as was from i have a doubt sir i had in mind still okay okay so if you have any doubt man just contact me okay thank you